Folks, how are we doing? Are we all good? Oh, my microphone's come loose. Hold well on. That's not good. Hello, how are we doing? Can you all hear me? I'm waiting just to confirm that we are live on my phone. I realise all the uh, all the VOD replays it's of these. Doing? Whoa, okay. Are we all good? Oh, my microphone's we, come loose. <laughs> we know we're working because it just blasted loud out of my computer. What I was saying is... I, I watched back the first couple of minutes of all of the VOD replay things of these streams and they all start with me going, can you hear me? At some point, I need to just start trusting the system and believing that you can hear me. And if you can't, you'd probably tell me anyway. Uh, my big bit of wood has arrived. As you can see, it's a big bit of wood and is there's no way to not have it in shot. So I've not set it up in the city yet, but that is a job for later in the week when my back is hurting less. But on tonight's stream, we are, as promised, getting started on the uh, on the Dungeons & Dragons set. It's a big one. I can't actually get it fully in shot when it's on the table in front of me. It's the Dungeons & Dragons. What's it written on it anywhere? But the massive Dungeons & Dragons set that came out on the 1st of April. It is super duper cool. Um, it, I wasn't planning on going into the Lego store on the 1st of April and buying both of the big expensive sets that came out that day. But they ended up being so cool that I had to get both. You can see the Batman one is still just sat on the table behind me. Not had a chance to mount that to the wall yet. But I am very much looking forward to getting started on this one. So we're going to be building this probably over the next three or four streams, I imagine. A little bit different to how we did it for Batman. We're not doing a full week of streaming this time. I do have to split my time between the Lego streams and the Football Manager streams. So if you check the community page of the channel every Monday, I'm going to try and post on there what the schedule is going to be for that week streaming. So this week we're doing Lego today, obviously, and we're also going to do another Lego stream on Friday evening. Um, and then each week I'll post it on there so you know what's going on. It'll probably be a couple of Lego streams a week is what we're going to be aiming for. So I imagine this is going to keep us occupied for the next couple of weeks. If you're as excited about that as I am, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the stream, whether you're watching live or on the replay. It is a massive help. And of course, if you are new, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on so you don't miss out those on those streams when they happen. And also all the other videos as well. And we have got some fun videos coming up over the next few weeks. The one with the bit of wood will be coming soon. We've got the one where we sort the massive pile of Lego. That's coming soon. You can see neither of them have been filmed yet. Uh, me and Anna are going down to London for the... Art of the Brick exhibition and we're going to go to every Lego store in London in one day. So that's another couple of videos you'll be getting. Um, we're going to the Coventry Brick. What's it called? This Sunday, me and Anna are going to be at the National Brick event in Coventry. Um, it's going to be our first Lego convention or brick convention. Never been to one before, so we are looking forward to that as well. So you'll get a video about that next week as well. Lots of fun content coming up. So like I say, make sure you are subscribed for all that lovely stuff. How are we doing in the chat? Are we all good? I can see there's a few people saying hello in there. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. Hello to all of you. Um, right, should we get this open? I don't actually, I've, I've deliberately steered clear of any content on this. So I have no idea how many bags it is. I have no idea how big the instruction book is, anything like that. I have just stayed clear of everything because I want to go into it completely fresh and unspoiled. Um, talking of fresh and unspoiled, I am going to be having the Arsenal game on the TV in the background as well. So uh, if you are trying to avoid the football scores while you're watching this, let's face it, no one's watching this and then going to watch the football later. In a very unlikely event, that is the case. You will get spoiled with football scores. Feel free to let me know when something happens in the Manchester City game as well. I am keen to know what's... Oh, God, that was a noise. I am keen to know what's going on in the Champions League. So we have... I think that was the sound of a box dropping out the bottom of the box. Oh, I've hit the shelf above me. That skill. That's how you do that skillfully, boys and girls. Oh, there's still some in there. It wasn't skill. There's still some in here. It's stuck to the bottom. Right. There we go. We have some bags up here. So these are these the lower. They're actually the lower numbered bags for once, or are they? Because that's bag one, but then this is bag 27. Are you telling me it goes to like 50? 
because that's bonkers if that's the case um let's open this one up as well um for american viewers that's soccer it absolutely isn't it's football for them as well they know it is soccer my eye how will i control myself once i start building then having to wait to the next stream on friday uh really easily because i'm so busy we are uh we because of the way we've restructured the business i've got to basically do my accounts this week and next week so i've got that to do or do my version of the books to send to the accountant he's asking for them by the end of next week Whereas normally, under the old way, I wouldn't be doing this till like the middle of January. He wants them end of next week so he can start working on them. So I've got all that to do. Um, and then I've also got to start stacking up Football Manager videos for when we're on holiday. Because in less than a month, we're off on holiday. So we've, um, yeah, busyness is how I'll avoid doing it. Quite simply. Oh, this is just a mix. because This is bag 10. What kind of sadistic maniac puts half the bags in a box and half the bags loose but it's not like first half loose first second half bags this is insane so bag 27 bag one these ones are coming out as well out they come oh a little envelope what's in the little envelope is it a love letter from lego um at some point of some some type or multiple capes i think i should probably leave them in there so they don't get ruined it's like five different capes for various sizes of caped creatures we have some some boards some base plates this i guess is the instruction manual in here it feels like a big heavy one so let's have a look at this bad boy I don't know if it's one or two books. Like I say, I've deliberately stayed clear of every... Oh my God, it's like five books. <laughs> We've got four books. Okay, fair enough, four books. I think it is four different builds. Looking at the box, it does indicate on the box that it separates... There you go, at the bottom part of the box there. Can you see that in the... That corner is what I'm aiming at. It does indicate that it separates. Because the idea is you can use this set to play a game of Dungeons and Dragons with. So I guess each one of those elements is a box, is a is a book. So we've got four instruction books. I need a bigger Lego room. <laughs> I'm already out of space in here. Um, can anyone sell me a really big house, but really cheap? Just so that I can put Lego in it. Please and thank you. How cheap is a warehouse to get in the UK? Right. Um, yeah, it probably was dragon's wings. There was cape, there was uh, there was capes in there as well. There was some small capes. Right. So I want to put these in order and put a bunch of them away. But I'm trying to work out what the highest numbered bag is. It should say Lego. If you're listening, tell me how many bags it is. Right. If we got anything higher than thirty-two, do we think? We'll put thirty-two over there. I apologise, this stage is always the noisy stage, so if you don't like the noisy stage, mute me until you see me stop messing around with the bags. I won't say anything too exciting, I promise. Um, and obviously if you're watching on the VOD, jump forward until I'm not fiddling with all this anymore. I think 32 is probably the highest one. This is chaos. Absolute chaos. I need a bigger table. Who designed this room? That took a small table in it. Right. Okay. The plan. I need the big box back because this one is for rubbish. This one I'm going to reload back up again with the bags in reverse order. I've lost bag 32. Bye. See you in a couple of weeks. Bag 31. Is there multiples of these bags, by the way? I haven't checked on that. I haven't seen any duplicates, I don't think. There's 29 and 28. We're looking for 30. Can anyone see bag 30 anywhere? Not that I'm even looking at the chat at the moment, so you could all be screaming, Kev, bag 30 is right in front of us. Oh, I'm not going to see it. Is that bag 30? Oh, there's bag 30. <laughs> bag 30. 29. 28. So now we want 27. 
There's 25 and 24. They're quite small bags, which is good. 26. We're still looking for 27. That's bag four. There's 27. So that's 27 to 24. So now we want 23. Let me know as well. Probably more useful in the comments rather than the chat. Because I won't go back and be able to read all the chat afterwards. Is this bit really boring? Because, I mean, I figure if I was watching a stream, I'd want to watch from the box being opened. But if you'd rather, in future, I go through this stage before I start streaming, I'm happy to go with the consensus. I've got to go through this anyway, but if you'd rather not see it, I don't mind doing it that way in the future. But my, uh, my little brain would like to watch this process, which is why I'm doing it. But like I say, I fully acknowledge other people's brains aren't as excellent as mine. So this might be really boring. I can't find bag 19. Where's bag 19? Ah! There it is. Bag 19. Now we want 18. We're counting in reverse, everybody. There's 18. And 17. And 16. Getting easy now. 15. That's a big one. Um, where are you? We're looking for bag 14. There's 13. 14, 13, 12, we're cooking on gas, I've lost 11, 11, 10, count down with me boys and girls, 9, come on we're nearly there, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Straight away, let go. Huge bonus points there for there only being one of each bag. It's like they listened to my feedback. The first few sets I did, this bit's loose and these bits are loose. The first few sets I did, there was like two or three sometimes of each bag and it wrecked my tiny brain. But these, both this one and the Batman one, the newest sets, do seem to just have one bag per step, which is good. So this is instruction book one. Instruction book one. Um, I'll obviously scan this into the app later on. And as usual, we've got all of the uh, the bits and bobs telling us all about it. I have got the, I got the gift of purchase, which is somewhere in my pile that needs sorting. I also got the D&D the &D campaign that you, had, you could either download or send away for. So I sent away for the physical one. I think it was 2,700 insider points. But I do have that as well. So I've never played a game of Dungeons & Dragons. But I guess it would be quite cool to play it for the first time. Lego edition, once I've made it. I can could, I, I could just see myself taking, the, uh, taking this entire Lego set down to... Uh, we've, got a, we, we've got a week at Centre Parks in July with the kids. And I just turn up with this big Dungeons & Dragons Lego set. I'm like, right, forget swimming today. We're playing Lego Dungeons & Dragons. Okay, so it's showing us all the cool things we're going to be we're going to be making. We've got skeletons. We've got an owl bear. I saw an... I had an owl bear friend in Baldur's Gate 3. See, that's my exposure to Dungeons & Dragons, playing Baldur's Gate. That's why I was so excited, because I enjoyed Baldur's Gate so much. We've got Cinder Howl the Red Dragon... This book is, it still hasn't got onto any instructions yet. This is just lots of, oh, this is telling us about the history of D&D &D now. We've got our heroes. So we've got four minifigs that I guess are the playable characters, I guess. I, like I say, don't really know a huge amount about D&D &D other than what I've learned from Baldur's Gate. I want to be the elf wizard. She looks cool. And, oh, here we are. We are on to bag one, everybody. Bag one. So for bag one, we need one of these base plates. So 
and get this one, which is the base plate that we need. So that's bag one, pop these bits to one side, and we're making our first mini fig. Get my little nerd tray, start getting everything into position. Hello chat, how are we doing? That was a lot of kerfuffle. Um, I'm listening whilst working on my next Lego stop motion, nice. Have I seen the film yet? I haven't. I used to watch the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon as a kid, which I guess is vaguely related. I don't really know. For anyone wondering, it is the orange brick separator today. Do we like, I do like an orange brick separator. So that bag is done. And we've got some little bags as well. How I've changed since that first stream for Pump Me. Sorting everything out into my little tray beforehand. What a nerd. Well, talking of Camp New, by the way, the missing piece has arrived. So that is now completely finished and built. I just need to... Um, there's lots of big bits in here. I just need to add the light kit and then I've got a display case for it as well. So at some point, we need to decide whether that's something you need to see me do or if you just want to see the finished version of it. I feel like it's going to be quite a frustrating thing taking that apart after putting it all together. Um, right, so we're making a little minifig, guys. So this minifig, we can actually tell you who he is because I, I need the instructions. I have no idea who anybody is in D&D. So the one we're making is, I think we're making the Dwarf Cleric. A cleric channels divine magic from the god they serve. They're powerful healers like me who can help their party survive any encounter. In battle, clerics wield a holy symbol and a weapon that shines with radiant light. He's got two heads as well. I think is that oh we can we can do a boy or a girl. That's cool. I like that that they're customizable, boy or girl. Are we I mean the guy's got a big beard. Are we doing are we doing boy? Although whenever I play games, I always play video games as a girl. So I don't know whether I want to do boy or are they all boy or girl? I need to know now. I need to know if they're all gonna have the choice of boy or girl. I think because of the beard, we're going boy with this guy. Because we've got to go for the great big bushy beard. We love a great big bushy beard. Um, right, let's pop the little shoulder pads on. The shoulder pads are definitely uh, screaming lady female, to be honest. I don't think I've ever worn shoulder pads in my life. And then we've got some very elegant trousers. And then, right, if we're going beard, we need to put the beard on before the head. Which is, those of you who don't have a beard, that is how it works in real life. You put the beard on first, then the rest of your head. So we put on the beard, and then we need him smiling. Why would he not be smiling? Oh, you can't see anyway, because his beard covers it. Ridiculous. And then we need some hair for him as well. I think we've got two different hair pieces as well, depending on whether we go boy or girl, but we're going boy. So, is that on right? Bit of a receding hairline situation, but there he is. So that's the boy version. If we wanted him to be a girl, we do have different hair and a different head. Um, are we supposed to have a weapon of some kind? Oh, hold on, we're supposed to have one of these with a shiny little clear thing on it. I guess this is his shining holy relic thing that it mentioned when I was reading about him just now. So he then holds this. No weapon though. I feel like it'd be better served to have a massive sword or something, but he now has a little uh, a little wang jangler that he's holding as well. Um, different colour separators only of orange. Yeah, it's sometimes they're like a teal green colour. I think the one in the Batman set was that colour. Um, did think Lego were changing over to paper bags to cut down on plastic. I mean, I have had some sets with paper bags, so it is something they are doing. They're just doing it really slowly and gradually. Um, which is weird because you would think the easiest way to do it would be when new sets go into production, just make the switch. But I guess it's not quite that simple in the real world because I imagine they place the orders for the plastic bags years in advance. So they've got to use up the stock that they've got because, you know, there's no logic behind throwing loads of plastic in the landfill. Just we'll throw it in the landfill so you don't have to. So I guess they're just using up the uh, the stock that they've got. Yeah, the other brick separators that I've been getting 
uh, this colour, that exact colour. Of the, it's almost like it's there for me to demonstrate the other colour of brick separator. So I think we are building a little house as the first thing. So we've built a little mini thing and now we're going to build a little a little house or a tavern or something. Do they have houses in the world of D&D? I feel like it's more of a, a world of taverns. Um, right, so we need one of them. Then we need a little blue, a little blue jobby to pop in there. Clerics normally have a staff type weapon as they aren't allowed to use sharp edged weapons. Well, there we go. <laughs> I know nothing. Just take your plastic bags to your local supermarket to dispose of them. What these plastic, what these? I mean, am I a monster for just putting them in the bin? Is that bad? I didn't think they were recyclable. You're telling me there's a place I can recycle these? I need more information because I do just throw them away. Um, right, next bit. Where is the piece that I am looking for? This was quite a uh, quite a full bag. There's a lot of Lego in that one bag. It's quite hard to rummage through. So we're making that with one of the little black Technic pin things in there. Um, when they first brought in ring se um, brick separators, they were given away for three and dark green. I got lucky and got a few. Uh, what, so different to that greeny colour I just showed you? Because I've got several of them that have been in sets recently. But what do I know, eh? I'm just a, I'm just a handsome YouTube guy. Right, so that is going on there. So this is just like the, the bottom floor of the house, presumably, or tavern. We haven't decided what they're making. <laughs> right, and then we need another one of them for the other side. So we need that. And that. What is it? An eight o'clock kickoff in the Champions League games, by the way. Because my iPad. Because I haven't got a TV in here yet. Probably, realistically, with the space I've got, unlikely to ever have a TV in here. Um, but my... Uh, what am I trying to say? Words, Kev, words. My iPad's only on like 45%. So if it's not starting for an hour, I might turn that off. And turn it back on again a little bit nearer to kick off. I see Gotham isn't on the wall yet. I mean, since the last stream, <laughs> I, st I finished streaming that at like 10 o'clock on Thursday night, then made the re review video that came out over the weekend. The next morning, I drove to London. I got back yesterday afternoon, and since then, I've made four Football Manager videos, and done a Football Manager stream, and started sorting through all of the content that I filmed while I was away. I have barely had time to scratch my testicles since I've been home. So no, <laughs> the Batman thing is not yet on the wall because I have not had a moment to do it. This is the first time I've come in here, other than this morning, because this plank of wood got delivered this morning. So other than when that was delivered and I just put it in here first thing this morning, I have not been in this room. I just have not had time. I have been so busy. And I'm gonna be, it's going to be crazy busy for another month or so again. It's just how it, it's how it always is. Realistically... I think it's just safe to assume, so I'm not always talking about it. It's just safe to assume that if it if the day ends in a Y, I'm probably mega busy and rushed off my feet and don't have time to do anything. Because um, that's pretty much the default situation all the time. Did I go back for the Ferris wheel in Hamleys? I didn't go back for the Ferris wheel in Hamleys. And I'll tell you why. Because it was £95 and I went on the internet. Is that the right colour? I went on the internet and found one for the same price. So rather than going back into central London from Bromley, I, uh, I just ordered it from, I forget the name of the website. It's not come yet, but it was a site that was just full of loads of retired sets. Um, so I ordered it off of there. So I didn't, I think, I'm not completely sure I knew it existed, but as soon as I found out it existed, I knew I needed it for the for the fairground area in the city. Got to have a Ferris wheel, got to have a roller coaster, got to get all of those things. They're just, they're the rules, aren't they? They're the basics of a fairground. Right, why can't I find any of the pieces that I... It's there. Chill out, okay, it's fine. The pieces are there. You don't need to get, you don't need to get cross. The pieces are always going to be there. Lego know what they're doing. 
there's always going to be pieces. That piece you had to get the other week for Camp Nou, you almost certainly will find it on your office floor one day. Because you probably lost it yourself, you goof. How am I liking the grey background in the books rather than the white? Um, I couldn't say that I even noticed. Um, I imagine Anna will like it because Anna, as a dyslexic person, does suffer with white backgrounds. She'd prefer they were yellow, I'm sure, but I imagine grey would be better than white for her because anything on a white background is always a struggle. So is that the reason it's been changed or is it just a random change for this set? It's, it's not something I ever really notice. Right, now we're putting the rest of this base onto this one. So stick that on there and then we've got two of these small brown fellas that go on there and that is our foundation for our little non-specific building that we haven't yet identified complete uh, the company that do it are called repeat the cycle when you get a second on the website put your postcode in it shows the next one i feel like i've missed the first part of that oh you can recycle oh you can recycle them chris for ah, okay you're talking about recycling um yeah i'll uh, i'll look into it at some point right so there you go it's it's starting to appear something is happening so we're doing windows now i think that is not gonna we're gonna get a click here we love a click are we gonna get is that even gonna go in can we have a click there we go oh oh lego asmr boys and girls lovely click love that oh we're getting loads of clicks it's click time Right, I'm looking for a small window. I've got a big window. But I'm pretty sure I need a small one. I've got the interior of a small one. So there must be the frame for a small one in here somewhere. And I'm just being thick. Whoops. Where is it? It's there. I was just being thick. All right, so that goes on there. And then get a couple of these in and we're doing a lovely little window. Oh, what a beautiful thing. Look at it. Forgive me, I know this is a Lego stream. Don't know if you're aware, SI have released the final at Lego FM24 this afternoon. Might have known for a few days it was coming. Wouldn't commit one way or the other. Obviously couldn't say anything, but yeah. Um, I don't, I haven't looked at what's changed in it, but uh, yeah, good. I'm not starting another new save. That's, I've, I'm pretty sure I've started my, uh, my final FM24 save now with the Wembley one. Uh, still no Anna. Good eye. I mean, is that a problem for you? I haven't seen the stickers anywhere. That's asking me to put a sticker on. I haven't seen the sticker sheet. Where's the sticker sheet? Sticker sheet? Sticker sheet. Quite a tiny. Now, compared to what we had in that Batman one that had like 60 stickers, this entire set has nine stickers. That's more like it for a £300 set. I'd still like to the, I'd still like there to be zero stickers. But nine is a lot better than 60, that's for sure. Um, so we're doing sticker number one. Okay, let's get this in position. Yeah, as I, uh, I mean, I find it a bit odd that I have to explain this on every stream. Anna will be on the content when she wants to be. Is it a problem if she's not on all the time? She's been in most of the shopping videos. She's been, uh, she was in the minifigs video. We still, you've got to remember, we still don't have working internet, a working computer, or like a setup in Anna's room yet for filming. Um, the lights aren't up, the camera's not set up, the microphone's not set up, the PC isn't set up, the internet's not set up. So there's no room for us both to be in here. So at the moment, 
this is how it is and it's fine. I would, I would suggest, I mean, I'm always the in front of the camera guy anyway. Anna is very much behind the scenes on the other two channels. This is obviously a genre of content that interests her more. But that doesn't mean she's any more interested in being in front of the camera all the time. So she'll, uh, she'll probably still be more behind the scenes than on camera. But she'll be, she'll be around. Don't you worry. Don't you worry yourself. She'll be around. Soon enough. When she wants to be. Um, you'll be glad to know the museum has two stickers, stickers are up to bag seven or eight. I'm to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed that the uh, that the museum has any stickers at all. Idiots. Uh, I think it's because at the start of the channel you said it would be more both of me than just me. It is going to be more both of us than just me. Um, it already has been more both of us than just me when you compare it to the other channels, because Anna's been in several videos. <laughs> How many FM videos has she been in? How many times is she? E I mean. I don't remember the last time in a vlog video that I even bothered putting a mic on her. She's never in the FM stuff at all. I don't even mic her up for the vlogs anymore. So the fact that she's been in, been in any videos at all on this channel, that's already more the two of us than just me. <laughs> it's still going to be more me than Anna because... I'm the attention-seeking YouTuber. Anna's just a Lego nerd. Anna's actually been the one playing FM the whole time. Exactly. She loves it. She can't get enough of FM. Her favourite thing about FM is it keeps me out of her hair. Right, we're putting some, some pretty floor stuff down. We do like a bit of pretty floor. I enjoyed doing the pretty floor on the, um, the London phone box. Sorry, the Edinburgh phone box. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. I like doing the little mosaic bits. I'm looking forward to doing another art set. I really enjoyed the the Batman one. We've got the Spider Man one to do, and we've got the Great Wave. So there are going to be some more art sets. They tickle exactly the right part of my brain. This is what we're doing. You can't really see what we're doing. We're just putting a little bit of floor out the front. What's Anna currently building? Um, I don't think she is tonight. Uh, last night she... You know what? I don't know. She probably showed me as well. I'm a monster. Um, her room is very much taking shape. The next time you see her room... Because one of the other things is we kind of want her room to be a grand reveal when it doesn't look like a Lego store. And it's getting there now. Um, it, or where it was just shelves covered in boxes... It's now shelves, there's now maybe half the shelves of boxes and the other half are Lego sets now. So it's starting to look more like a Lego room. Um, so there is going to be the grand reveal of that at some point, um, which obviously Anna will be a big part of. Yeah, we're just, we're figuring the channel out, to be honest. It's very early days. We're working out what works and what doesn't work. And we're having a jolly good time doing it, so... Don't worry too much. What I would say to all of you is ignore everything I tell you now about what the channel is going to be in six months. Because I haven't got a clue. In all honesty. It could go in any number of directions. We might find out, and based on early signs, I think this is unlikely. Is this not going to fit in there? Are these different sized window pieces? No, they're exactly the same. Why can't I get this into this door? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we're in the early days of the channel. This is the part of a new YouTube channel that people don't normally see. But this is where we're experimenting with content, finding out what works, what doesn't work, what we enjoy, what we don't enjoy. So, yeah, don't, don't take anything as nailed on gospel at this point because it's early days and anything can and will change the only solid is it's a channel about lego has anna finished the snow white cottage oh god yeah like a week ago she's done like five more sets since then 
she's plowing through right i cannot get this into this door i don't know why i feel like i'm going to snap the door what am i doing wrong it's not like lego to make a piece that doesn't just fit which makes me feel like this piece in here maybe should have been the one and maybe it is a different size for the window as it is for the door so i'm just gonna pop that one out of the window and try that in the door No, because they are exact they are literally exactly the same piece. But it will not go in this door. Um pressure for Anna to be on videos and streams is unlikely to make her any more comfortable. Oh yeah, exactly. The more people make it a thing, the less likely it is that it'll ever happen. If you ever want ah there you go, I've got it in. If you ever want there to be a day where Anna's doing videos on her own or streams on her own, for example, you need to stop it from being a big deal, because if it's a big deal, she just won't. And that's fine. I would never make her. So, yeah. Just, if and when it happens, it'll happen. And that's fine. Right, so, does it matter which way around this door is? I don't think it does. It looks the same from both sides. Little door handle. And then, pop that into the little door frame. We have a door! And that goes on here, like that. And it is turning into a something. I don't know what the something is yet, but it's becoming it. Today's my birthday, wish me happy birthday. I mean, say please, and I might. <laughs> Because otherwise, that's just really rude. What's the most expensive set I've bought so far? Um, probably the Avengers Tower. I'm looking at the pile. I can't see all of it. I think probably the Avengers Tower. Yeah, uh, Mods, can we time out the person whinging about their birthday? Because uh, I imagine it's their ninth birthday and they shouldn't be on YouTube. Because they're acting like it's their ninth birthday, so let's just get them gone. Goodness me. If ever I saw spam. Have we got any mods in? I'm saying mods. I saw Tofu was around earlier. Am I going to have to do this myself? Goodness me. What is this? Having to moderate myself can i even do it on obs i don't think i can ah <sighs> sigh having to go onto my phone to do it and boom dealt with right where were we if anyone else wants to wants to test me with spam go for it it's a good way to slow the build down. People who are interested in Lego will watch as being proved regardless of who's on camera. Um, mm, we'll agree to disagree on that one. Oh, uh, I mean, I think Anna is good on camera and I think she'll make cracking videos when the time comes. But I think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Lego content out there that nobody's watching, <laughs> so that's not necessarily true. I think there has to be a little bit of uh, a little bit of personality in there somewhere. All right, we're putting a little fire in as well. Lovely, lovely. I still don't know if this is a house or a tavern or what this is, but I'm liking it. It's a nice little medieval style build. I've not done anything like this yet. And it's cool. But yeah, getting back to the question from before, I think the Avengers Tower is the most expensive set that we've bought. Um, that was, it's, that's more than the Disney castle, isn't it? I think. So yeah, I think probably that. But, yeah, we're, we're not really into getting the absolute crazy expensive stuff anyway. We're not into uh, 
we're not into Star Wars, so we're not going to be getting the big expensive Star Wars stuff. And we, um, we've got nowhere to put stuff like the Titanic or the Eiffel Tower. So as much as they'd be fun to build, either of their, they're like, what, six, seven hundred pound sets that would be great fun to build, but then we would literally just have to disassemble them afterwards because there was nowhere in our house that we could fit sets that size. So it seems like a lot of money to spend on effectively parts because that's all it would actually end up being. It would just be parts. And that seems a little extravagant, even, even for me, spending all that money on just some parts. So, I mean, I would like that, the big expensive crane. I really like the look of that. But uh, again, I don't really need it. <laughs> and I think Anna would murder me if I spent £600 or whatever it is on a crane. But it would be cool to have in a little construction area in the city. If you're in the Discord, and you should be in the Discord, you'll have seen we have a little, uh, there's the beginnings of a little construction crew working in the city. I've got a little steamroller and bulldozer and we're going to get a few other little bits and bobs like that and it's going to be fun. Um, right, this is taking shape. Look. Very snazzy indeed. Um, what have we got now? Some little... Oh, we're doing a little bridge, I think. We're doing a little bridge! <laughs> this is actually quite cool. I'm already enjoying this. This is something very different. It's a completely different, it's a total change of pace from what we were doing with the Batman set last week and uh, the more modern stuff that I'm doing for the city. So it is just something completely different. It's making me want like the medieval town square and the Viking village and all that kind of stuff because it is cool and fun. And cool and fun is always good. So pop that on there. A little bit of green. We like a little bit of green. And then some little things. Okay, so this is supposed to be it's a little bridge out the front where we're going over some water, I guess, is the idea of this. I'll show you the front in a second so you can see exactly what I'm currently doing but we're doing a little a little fishing pier kind of thing out the front of this house so i guess we're supposed to be at sea well not at sea but next to a river or something maybe so we're just on that little bridge out the front which is very cool um is the have you lot all just stopped talking or did i break the chat when i timed that person out because i think the last thing I've got in the chat is still someone saying, please don't spam the chat. So I think I may have broken the chat. So I'm now going to reopen the chat because looking at my phone, there's a lot more chat. <laughs> so I think I broke it trying to time someone out on OBS. So that's a lesson learned. I wondered why you'd all stopped talking. Um, oh, there's loads of chat that's happened since then. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's... <laughs> Go back in this. I did wonder why you all just stopped talking. It's because the moment I touched the chat, I broke it, apparently. Um, right. Let's, oh, wow, there's loads. Um, how are you deciding the order to build the Lego sets? Um, by what I feel like making. I mean, this, this month, the obvious thing has been build the new sets. So we're building the new ones that are more searchable and clickable first. Um, but... Once we get under the table, it'll just be whatever I feel like doing, I guess, as we put, the, put them together in the city. Do we have Rivendell? No, we're not into Lord of the Rings either. Although Anna really wants the set. But it's another one that's so big, and she's already got the Disney castle. I just don't know where she'd put it. Are you hoping to find any rare retired sets in Coventry this weekend? Yes, I would love a Colosseum as a little souvenir from Rome. Um, just, yeah, uh, re retired modulars, reasonably priced. I don't know how reasonably priced. I've never been to one of these events before, so I have no idea if the idea of reasonably priced is even a thing to look at going in. But modulars and the Colosseum, for sure. Um, I have no interest in this set. I'm watching for the chat. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 
Do I still drink as much coffee as what? I still drink no more than three cups a day, if that's what you mean. Avengers mini figs are going for over £200 for the set. No tower. That is mad. I mean, the, set, the tower is still available. That almost makes it worth buying another tower, selling the minifigs, and just having all those parts just for parts because it's so many bricks in that set. I want to send you the Starship Collection Millennium Falcon. Everyone needs a Falcon in their Lego collection. I'm sure we'll get one at some point. <laughs> Do you think you're spreading yourself too thin with the three channels and multiple platforms? Seems like a lot of content to keep creating. No, um, not at all. I'm just doing my hobbies and monetizing them. I mean, the, let's face it, the travel vlog is no work at all, really. We go on trips and I'll record a month's worth of content in a few days away and then not think about that channel again until the next trip. So we just get to go on fun trips. Um, and this, we're doing two or three pieces of content a week. So it's still no way near. Remember, I did years of doing a daily vlog daily Twitch streams and two football manager videos a day on the main channel. So I'm still nowhere near that level of production. Um, so no, I think I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with how things are. You timed us all out. Maybe I did time you all out. Um, I've ordered the Batman scene. Did it come with screws? No. The Eiffel Tower is the most repetitive build out there. Makes a better family build. With, yeah, well, we've got no interest in that. Could this set be a themed area for Legoland in the city? Or is it a bit too big? It's probably too big. This will just go on the shelf, I think. Building the Jazz Club whilst watching the stream. And also you have the two Champions League games on two laps. Yeah, I've got the Arsenal one ready to go on there once it starts. Um, right. That was me getting caught up with the chat. Let's, I really need as well this sorting bulk stream that I've got. That I'm, old video that I'm playing on doing. I need to do soon because my little tub of... yeah. Oh, there is a hammer for my guy. My guy's got a hammer. I mean, he's having his hammer, even though he's not supposed to have his hammer. He's absolutely having his hammer. Um, but yeah, this tub needs emptying and sorting. So I do, there you go. He looks much more threatening with a hammer. That's much better. Um, but the rest of this, I mean, again, this hasn't been used for anything. Is this supposed to be somewhere? Have I missed this out? I kind of just want to put it somewhere. Oh, I was supposed to put it somewhere. Hold on, it was supposed to go down there. This is why I have to check through the pieces before I throw them all in the bin because, yeah, I miss stuff. I miss steps out all the time. But that does look correct now. So I think we can pour them in there and move on to bag two. Don't worry. Oh, crumbs. Try not to smash the camera out of the way. Um, we're not going to take an hour for every bag. That was just the first bag and lots of chat. But now we pick up the paper a little. Bag two of 32, I think it was. Okay. Yeah, on the topic of spreading myself too thin, Lego is fun. And now I get to play with Lego and call it work. Travel is awesome. So I get to travel and call it work. So, you know, it's not as if I'm doing anything hard at any point, am I? If, if any part of my job was difficult, then there'd be an argument for that. But is it possible for somebody to have too much fun? I'm not sure that it is. And that's all I'm in danger of at the moment. If I ever get to the point where I'm not enjoying myself, then I'll just stop doing stuff. I've shown that enough times in the past. I've got no issue with dropping an entire channel if I'm not enjoying it anymore. So, uh, I certainly have previous. We've got printed pieces in here. It's lovely. Look, a little printed piece to go inside this book that I'm doing. It's got a printed piece inside, but then I've got, still got to put a sticker on the front. So, this is sticker seven for the front cover of this book. That the next We're doing the next minifig already. We're front-loading the minifigs. So, this is for the next minifig to hold, I think. If you were doing this set as a couple and you split the manuals in half, I'd be fuming if one of us got to do all the minifigs. <laughs> that, would be, that would be awful. Right, can we just stand you outside here for now? Just so we've got somewhere to put you. Um, right, minifig. Again, we have the choice of boy or girl, I think. 
Or at the very least, there's two heads. But we'll just we'll go we'll go girl this time, I think, because it's a dress. So where's the head? So there's one head. Do we have another head? There you go. We've got two heads. They look both look identical. So I don't really know what the difference is. So we'll just randomly pick one. Oh, we need a thing first. Another another set of shoulder pads. You can never have too many shoulder pads in the world of Dungeons and Dragons, apparently. And then we get a head on there. This one's got thicker eyebrows, I think. Does thicker eyebrows mean boy or girl? We've gone for thin eyebrows. <laughs> That's the only differentiating factor I can see, the, the thickness of the eyebrows. There we go. And now we need to give them the book. So they've got a big book to hold. Ah, and then they also have a magic wand, I think this is. So a little stick with a little diamond on. We'll have a look in a second to see who this is, because they have a name. Should we go and find their name? This is, it's not the owl bear. So this minifig is the elf wizard. Wizards study books and scrolls to learn the art of magic. They copy spells into their spell book, the sum of all their knowledge and their most precious possessions. Each wizard specialises in a school of magic, such as illusion, necromancy or enchantment. There we go. So hold your little magic wizard stick. So she's got a book and a little wizard stick. And then she also has two more of these little spells. I guess these are spells. So we've just got these little spells that go with her as well, apparently. Although I cannot see the wall. So I guess we don't have that many spells, but we'll put that. I don't know where to put the spell. We'll just put the spell on there as well. And she can stand on there too. We're probably gonna have to move the minifigs off the front of the build. Um, but for now they can just hang out on the front there and it's fine. Are the Lego set retirement dates public? Uh, to a point, I mean, not necessarily years in advance, um, but I think it's been published which ones are retiring this year. And even when they first retire, they don't just disappear off of the shelves in every shop immediately. It just basically means they're not going to be available in the Lego store anymore. Everyone else still has to sell through their stock. Oh, there's the other one of those. So we do have the multiple spells for her. Um, all right, what am I looking for here? A little semicircle, what do you call it? So that, where does that go? That goes there. Right, okay, we're adding a little bit of structural stability to this side of the build, which makes a lot of sense because it is a little bit wibbly wobbly at the moment. So we're de wibbly wobblying it, which is always a good thing to do. We don't want a wibbly wobbly wall because that, as I'm sure you're all aware, is a recipe for disaster. Um, and that goes there as well. So that was that step. And then we've got, are you the right color? You don't look the right color. I believe you're the right color. And you have that on you. I've just hit my longest move streak while sitting in a chair. <laughs> Good old Apple Watch. I don't know that that counts, just moving your arms around, making Lego. But I'll take it. All right, we're doing a little overhanging roof here, I think. How do Lego announce new sets? Is it just through their website? Um, I mean, in my experience, just keeping an eye on their social media. I don't know if that varies. I've not been uh, I've not been paying attention for too many launches, but uh, like the this set in particular, I remember this being. I mean, it had been rumored for quite a while. It had gone through the Lego Ideas process, so it was being reviewed as part of Lego Ideas. So people had a good idea that it was coming, but it wasn't officially announced with a date until it was when we were in the airport in Rome, about to fly home from Rome. And we were literally sat there in the departure lounge at the airport in Rome. 
and um and it got announced that it was uh that it was coming out when it came out so yeah that's how this one was announced the batman one i think had been announced like a week earlier so i think just keep an eye on their social media tiktok and instagram seem to be a good spot to keep an eye on okay so this is this is the little pub sign basically so i think i think we've decided this is a pub slash a tavern I don't know what the difference between a pub and a tavern is, but this is definitely one of them. Um, so that sticks out the front. There is our little pub sign. In plain sight, it's called. Clever little play on words. I like it. So I guess that officially means it's an inn, because it's got inn in the title. Um, right, where's my next brick that I need that's hiding from me? There it is. So we need to get that bit on as well. And then a couple of these little dealies to go on there. Lovely. Um, won't discontinued be a better word than retired? I mean, they call them retired. So take it up with Lego. They refer to them as retired. Have a speed champions Porsche to build. The Senna McLaren is very tempting. I still haven't got any speed champions yet. There's a coming soon section on their website. There is, but it's not populated until after stuff has been announced. So if you want to find out the moment stuff is announced, that's not the place to find out. Um, but yeah, you can uh, you can certainly use the coming soon section of the website if you're not so desperate to know the moment stuff is allowed announced. For me, I'm pretty pretty needy. I'm pretty desperate to know immediately. So I just like to keep an eye on their, their TikTok, their Instagram, and do it that way. Or Reddit. I mean, I've started using Reddit. For years, I've resisted Reddit, but I've actually been using the Lego Reddit. Um, I'm learning Reddit and TikTok as part of this process. So even if ultimately the Lego content flops, which seems unlikely at this point, but if this channel does end up being a complete failure and we end up not doing it anymore, at least I've used this time to learn how to use two quite important platforms that I've always resisted using in Reddit and TikTok. So some good of it, some good comes of it regardless. Oh, where did that go? Get that in there. There we go. And... Another one of them goes there. This is getting a little complicated, but it does look very cool. For whoever it was who was asking about whether this will go in the Lego City before, another reason why it won't is I'm getting the impression it doesn't have any backs on, and I'm not going to be putting stuff in the city that doesn't have backs on. Stuff needs to be a proper building with a back on to get into the city. They're the rules. We don't have any of this open backed nonsense. This is this is a play set for, for adults. This is to play Dungeons and Dragons with. So I am determined to find somebody to play the play Dungeons and Dragons with using this set, because I think it'll be fun. Whether that somebody will be Anna or not, I'm not sure, because she's always been quite resistant to the idea of playing Dungeons and Dragons, because she's not that kind of nerd. Right, so pop those bits on as well. And we continue adding some structural oomph and just building this up and solidifying the walls a little bit. A couple more of these on. Would love to join you, Kev, but City are on. I mean, I've got the uh, I've got the Arsenal match on the telly. You can do you can multitask. Be like Kev. Nobody can just sit and watch a football match, surely. Surely. I've always got to be doing something else as well. Even when I was sat at Wembley at the weekend watching Posh, I was still on my phone. <laughs> my brain doesn't allow me to just watch football. That's, uh, that's not an option. I have to be doing other things. Um, 
sheepdog as a Friar Tuck vampire character. Nice. Aren't Lego doing D and D nights? I think it was just a one-off to demonstrate the set. I haven't watched it, but um, it is cool that they're embracing the whole D and D stuff. There's a there's going to be a D and D collector minifig line coming out later in the year, um, and I think there is going to be more D and D sets as well. So this is just the start of a uh, an ongoing partnership between Lego and Dungeons and Dragons. Which is going to lead to uh, lots of Lego D and D games being able to be played, presumably, and the different sets. I guess will then be different expansions to the game. I don't like I say I don't really know how D and D works, but I figure that's the that's the logic of it. I think whether or not I'll stay on board with them and keep buying the sets is up for debate because. I got this one because it's a cool castle and a cool dragon and I like cool castles and cool dragons and it reminded me of Skyrim. I don't know that I'm on board for dozens of Dungeons and Dragons Lego sets with nowhere to put them. It comes back to that same thing again for me because when me and Anna were choosing our Lego rooms and designing how our Lego rooms would be because I decided I was going to have a city in mine, I am kind of restricted by... For me to be able to buy sets, they kind of need to fit into the city. I've got display space on shelves for maybe four or five sets. So anything outside of those four or five has to fit in the city. So if it doesn't fit in the city and doesn't fit on the shelf, then there's not a lot of point in me getting a set. So this might be my only D&D &D set that I end up with. But even if that's how it ends up being, it's a very cool one. Um, Arsenal buy on score prediction. Um, five nil to Arsenal. <laughs> you got to predict something bonkers because then if it happens, I look like a genius. And if it doesn't happen, everyone will be like, "Yeah, well, he's obviously just being silly. He didn't mean that, did he? He didn't actually think they were going to win five nil." There's a lot of groups online to find people to play D and D with. Yeah, I don't like people though. That's the problem. I think it's because D and D is fifty or something this year. Like Batman is eighty five, so it makes sense to make them big ranges. Yeah, definitely. The mimic gift with purchase is really cool. Yeah, um, we got that because we got it on launch day. Anna was telling me earlier. Apparently, they're selling for hundreds of pounds online. She's trying to convince me to sell it. I'm like, I don't want to sell it. The whole reason we got it that week was to get that. But if it continues to sell for crazy prices, I haven't opened it yet. She's telling me I must not open it, but as far as I'm concerned, as soon as I finish building the set, I'm building that. But uh, I am open to being persuaded if it really, really does go insane. But I suspect they'll get more stock in. Well, I don't know, because it was only that first week that, that promotion was running, wasn't it? But haven't there been loads of people in America who pre-ordered it or bought it and were supposed to get the gift with purchase, but then didn't? So I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be more coming or what. But it seems like lots of people wanted that gift with purchase. I don't think it's going to be one that you're just casually picking up for 30 quid a month or two down the line. Right, we've just built a little stone column to go in the corner here, which is very nicely done. Why aren't Arsenal winning it? What's going on? We've got to get to eight goals. I've promised everybody eight goals. Right, we're doing a little pile of treasure. So we've got to put three pieces of... They're like little green fangs. So I guess... Again, not really knowing anything about D&D. &D, this is like treasure that you'll just find, is it? These are little treasure boxes. And I guess they represent something. Presumably. Oh, I've got to move my minifigs. They're in the way. Sorry, guys. We've actually got to put stuff where it's supposed to go now. My apologies. Man City are already winning 1-0. Didn't they drop De Bruyne as well? So, they're quite good, aren't they, Man City? And then we've got cherries going in this one. I imagine there's going to be lots of spoilers for anyone who's looking to play this D&D &D game. 
based on what you see me hiding in various places as I'm building it. So apologies for spoilers, but obviously you're watching me build the set. It's going to spoil the set. You're going to know everything that's in it. That's the whole deal about me building it. Right. So now we turn this around so you can see the front of it. So we're now doing some building of the interior, which is very snazzy. So we need lots of these little jobbies. Do, 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 do. But yeah, keep me updated with the uh, with the Man City score. I've got the Arsenal game on, but I'm intrigued in how City are doing. Obviously, it's in Arsenal's best interest for City to go as deep into the competition as possible because I am certainly far more interested in winning the Premier League than the Champions League. Obviously, I'll, I'll take both if it's on offer, but it's more important to keep City busy trying to win the Champions League again. Um, right. And I know there's lots of people who are like, it should be trying to win both. <laughs> I mean, if I'm Mikel Arteta, I'm very much prioritising the Premier League this season. Worry about winning the Champions League another year. But then Premier League football fans are bananas, so who knows? Who knows what those maniacs will want? Right, I don't actually know where this is supposed to be, so... One, two, so there. We'll put a little barrel, a barrelly tabley thing going in there. Uh, Bayern actually playing Eric Dyer. I thought they just signed him for like a joke. <laughs> he looks, I've just seen him on the pitch. Right, we're getting to see the Manchester City goal now on picture in picture. Love a bit of picture in picture. Oh, was it a free kick? Oh, that's such poor defending. Oh, my word. That's awful defending. Wowzers. There's no excuses for conceding a goal like that if you're Real Madrid. That's poor. Goodness me. I, I realise if you're watching this on the replay, these football matches aren't actually going on, but I'm afraid this is just how it has to be. Right, we're putting a little bar inside our bar. And then we need some weaponry. So we're hanging up all sorts of weapons in here as well. And a little weapons rack. Weapons and a guitar. Oh, there's the guitar. And we need a little axe. So where did these go? So we've got these little handles here to put all our weapons in. It's all very fiddly for those of us with large fingers. So you go in there. Ah, oh, no, you don't fall over. I'll show you the interior when it's done. Like with the, uh, like with the other bits. I've just pulled a wall off. It's fine, who needs a wall anyway? And then, where's the guitar thing it is? That is quite cool. I like that. Um, is that everything that section it is? So we've just done this little interior bit where... I've lost my piece of grass! Well, we've got this little weapons area and then over that side we've got the bar. And then I think we're putting a barrel behind the bar now as well, which is super duper. So little barrel going in. And there. Oh, this is this is really nice. This is very very neat and pretty. We've got little bottles as well to put in here. Oh, this is such a cool little medieval pub interior. This is great. I love this set already. I've decided I love it. Oh, we've got a big chicken leg. Chicken leg. How do I fancy England chances at the Euros this year? Uh, we'll win them. Well, I think we'll have won the whole tournament by the quarterfinal. I think we're that good. They'll just award it to us. 
realise there's no point in letting anyone else play because we're so much better than everyone else and just give it to us. I think that's how it should be. That's not a prediction, that's a spoiler. Right, I'm putting my, my chicken leg in on the bar. Who keeps a chicken leg on the bar? It's madness. And then we've got these little little glasses. Oh, delicious. What am I doing? People can see this is on the internet, Kev. People can see this. You maniac. Uh, so put that on there. And you go there. I need smaller fingers. Where can I get smaller fingers from, folks? Because it is starting to become problematic that I have big fat sausage fingers. I need some small fingers. Topher's in. Nice of you to turn up, Topher. You heard me mention Eric Dyer's name and came rushing to hear what I was saying about your hero, didn't you? That's what's happened there. Oh, I've missed a piece. When did I miss that piece? This piece was supposed to be on here ages ago. and I don't know when I missed it. But once again, I've managed to miss an entire piece that's supposed to be on there. How many other pieces have I missed? Is that why it doesn't feel very stable? Because I've missed a load of pieces. Right, now we're putting... So this has got a little runner area in it. That's interesting. So that goes across the top there. And then we are putting the roof on. So I think we're just putting the finishing touches to this, to this bottom floor. I think there is an upstairs of this as well. But this is the uh, this is the finishing touches to the to the downstairs of the tavern, the inn, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why I keep calling it a tavern. Is tavern even a word people say? And then that goes across the front there, and then you go there. No. You go there, and you go there. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I wasn't aware that Eric Dyer was mentioned. Yes, you were. You have Google alerts for him. There you go. So that's the downstairs of the inn done. So we've got the little back bit in. You can see from in above on the top as well. And then I think we're going to do the next four up. And we've got another minifig. We really are doing all the minifigs out of the first instruction book. I would be fuming. Right, why is this here? This this feels wrong. I feel like this is supposed to be on somewhere. Yes, this is absolutely supposed to be on somewhere. Right, hold on. <laughs> um, what have I done wrong here? Hang on. I've done something stupid and I'm not sure what it is. I think that just goes there. Is that the only bit I've missed? Well, we've got a head. Heads are fine. We don't mind having loose heads. All the rest of those bits make sense. I've got a goal alert saying Arsenal have scored. It hasn't come up on my on my iPad yet, but I've had the alert through to my watch. So let's watch the goal happen, boys and girls. Um, it's Saka and that's 1-0. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. I've been buying my Lego from AliExpress recently and the fakes are getting really good. I'm not really interested in getting fakes. Watched a video. That was my back, by the way, that hurt there. Um, watched a video this week of someone combining two Sanctum Sanctorums to be one larger build. Is that something I consider? Um... Maybe at some point, although with the size of my space that I've got available to me, making already quite big sets, I'm looking over at the Sanctum Sanctorum now, it's not a small set, making already quite big sets even bigger is not really the, uh, the goal in this room. <laughs> the goal is to get as much variety in here as possible. 1-1 one, one, Real scored. So City have conceded. Okay. In that case, I take back everything I was saying before. If Arsenal wouldn't have to win the Champions League, let's sit you in the league. It's fine. 
Oh, look at Harry Kane's little face. So, third mini fig incoming. And I go do an affiliate program for creators. Is that the same as the the Lego Ambassador Network? Because if it is, you have to have been a creator for a year to be a part of that. So I've already looked into that. The very first question it asks when you apply is is basically that so if that's what it is then we can't do that for another 11 months um if there's a separate affiliate program i'd definitely be up for being a part of that obviously the amount of people who are telling me i've uh, already forced them to spend loads of money i'd quite like to get paid for that that would be nice i like getting paid getting paid is one of my favorites Right, we want the big smiling face. Always go for the big grinning face when available. And then get some hair on as well. Ooh, I don't know what the, which way is the front and which way is the back of this hair. It's weird. 2-1 to Real Madrid. It's all kicking off in that game then. Wowzers. City have poked the bear too early on. I realise promoting what sounds like an exciting football match is a terrible way to keep view numbers up. <laughs> but... We can watch it all. This is a Lego build slash Champions League watch along. What more could you want? If you're a particular kind of nerd, like I am, this is your perfect way to do a Champions League watch along. Doing some Lego at the same time. Okay. Little smiley man. What's his name? I've got to find his name. His name is... This is the Gnome Fighter. Practice makes perfect when you're a fighter. These, we these warriors train with a variety of weapons and armour to become masters of combat. They learn to think clearly in battle and to push themselves beyond normal limits to keep their allies safe. We haven't given him his sword and shield. He's basically naked without them. Where's his shield? There's his shield. Oh, so, so it's got a printed piece. That's nice. Nice little printed piece for a shield. So he get his shield in one hand and then he's got a big sword or a little sword to choose from. Multiple little swords actually. Obviously I'm going to give him the big sword. Why would I give him a little sword when there's the option of a really big sword? That would be mad. Can't get it. There we go. See, now he looks like he's ready for a fight. Go mess with those other two over there. Lovely stuff. Right, so now we are doing the upstairs and roof of the uh, of the inn. So I think this is the right piece that we're looking for. So I think this is just going to be the bit that goes on top of that just there. Right, we're getting the Real Madrid equaliser come through as a picture-in-picture -picture goal. Are they going to show both back-to-back -back if they happen that quickly? Oh, that's poor. Who's in goal for City tonight? I can't tell from here. Did they bring Edison back in? I believe the affiliate program is different. That one gives you commission for people buying sets through the link. I'll look into it because, uh, oh dear, that is two sloppy goals for City to concede. Um, obviously, an affiliate program would be helpful based on the many thousands of pounds we've spent on Lego over the last month or two. It would be quite nice to start clawing some of that back. Not that there's any semblance of any kind of regret because I'm loving it. And people seem to be enjoying the channel, so it's all for the best long term. But in the short term, <laughs> it would be quite nice to start making some money back. It's Ortega in goal. Can't tell on my tiny screen, but he's not having a nice time, is he? Bless his cotton socks. All right, so that then has this bit. Put on there. Yeah. Oh, Bayern have equalised. Boo and hiss. Looks like there's goals everywhere tonight. The ideal night to be watching a Lego stream, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm doing the worst job in the world of promoting this stream. Oh, my word. Right. Let's have a look at the equaliser. Yeah, Bayern have scored. 
Boo. And here's disallow it. It was a foul, I think. I think it was a foul. I haven't decided what for yet. Give me a minute. I'll come up with something if I get to watch a replay again. Um, where's the next bit? This channel's amazing. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. That perfect combination of old man builds Lego whilst shouting at football. This is what people want out of YouTube content in, uh, in 2024. We've cracked the code. Mr. Beast could never. Right, so that now just slots straight on top of there. So that's the base for the second floor. So now we need to build on it. And it's time for another sticker. We're going to use all the stickers on this first building. Well, I say first building. They kind of all lock together to be one big building, but they do separate out. Right, so sticker three going in. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And whack one of those in the bottom there. And another one on the top there. With one of these long boys. And we start putting together a building. Or a floor in a building. Which is jolly good, if you ask me. When did bricks like this become a thing, by the way? Because when I was a kid, we'd have to build walls properly. Cop out modern bricks. These kids don't know they're born. Old man rant, etc, etc. Right, has the chat crashed again or did I convince all of you to go and watch the football? I can't decide. The chat, no one's posted anything in the chat for ages on that screen. Uh, okay, this time it is that I've scared you all away, I think, because it looks like it's up to date on there. There you go, Kev! I see you. Just every now and again, post something in the chat, people. Just so that I know there's actually still people there. I know you're all watching multiple football matches and watching me at the same time, so it's hard to uh, keep posting in the chat as well. But just let me know you exist. Topher's there. Hello, Topher. I was hoping there were some real people there as well. Uh, right. You don't all need to tell me you're still here now. I believe you. There just hadn't been anything in the chat for a while. All right. We're doing another one of these stone columns. Which presumably is just going to continue going upwards from the previous one as well. Watching Wrexham too, but still here. There's so much football. It's that time of year. Talking of football, tomorrow's Nonning to Legend is fun. Not Nonning to Legend. <laughs> Wembley to Wembley. Nonning to Legend is finished, Kev. Everyone got really excited for a second there. Tomorrow's Wembley to Wembley is fun. Like no football manager video I've ever made before. So there's your, that's your official main channel advert for the stream we love a main channel advert right pop that bit in there so we're now three high that makes four and then we need one more of you little jobbies on there with one of these on beautiful and then this just goes into there so that will then just go oh that's clever i like that that is clever how that works i approve good work lego you know what you're doing grinding on runescape and watching the stream of the arsenal game i have never played runescape and i was not aware it was still a thing that existed i thought that was a thing from like 20 years ago i am intrigued All right, I don't know what this is that we're building here. It's a thing of some kind. A thing or creation of some description that then goes into this corner. So I think it's a chimney that's going all the way up, maybe. A question, probably for Slack. 
when can I, when can I expect the drafts for the edit? Um, I only got the files over this afternoon, like late afternoon. Um, so I will try and do a rough cut tomorrow and probably not succeed. So you might have to wait until the next day. But we will see. I haven't even taken some of the footage off of cameras yet. So there's still uh, still got a little bit of a wait. Don't you worry. And then I'll just make you do it really, really quickly. Just so you uh, don't feel like you're being too slow. It's fine. <laughs> Tova had an advert. Excellent. Currently cleaning my airbrush whilst watching the stream. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what is an airbrush? Is that the same as a hairbrush? Probably not. But you might you might have an accent. That might be what you mean. Do accents come across in typing? Whenever I see a Scottish person type anything on social media, they always manage to write in a Scottish accent, which I always find fascinating. Right. But I'm sure that must be deliberate. Surely when they're just communicating with each other, they just write the words properly. Right? Surely? Have we got any Scottish people in who can explain this to me? Right. Let's pop you in there. And then you just there. This is coming along very nicely. I was trying to install Medal of Honor Allied Assault for the Mac using a dodgy port, but it wouldn't work. You confuse me, Tofa. I don't even know what that means. I don't play... Is, I presume that's a shooty game. Medal of Honor always used to be a shooty game. I haven't played shooty games for about 10 years now. Currently watching the stream whilst watching the stream. Impressive. Right, you go there, and then I am loving this the style of this build. By the way, it's making me want more of the medieval stuff. I think I said that before, but I've been resisting like the medieval village and all that kind of stuff. But this is so awesome, the style of it. I think we need to. Uh, me and Anna can just sleep in a tent in the garden, and we can turn our bedroom into the medieval zone. Just make the whole house. Do we need a living room? We don't spend any time in it anymore. We're just all in, always in the Lego rooms. So let's get rid of the li living room. Do we need a kitchen? We could just live on takeaways. Do we need a kitchen? We could put so much Lego in there. Ah! Where did that go? Um... It's a game from the early 2000s. You're mad, Topher. Is this, in this set, do you get to build a dragon? Yes. I haven't got to him yet, but yes. That was the main reason I got the set, because I wanted to build a dragon. A dragon and a castle. But I'm already having fun, and we've not even started doing dragons and castles yet. That's how good it is. How's Anna's Lego room backdrop builds coming along? Doing really well. She's uh, She did loads while I was away over the weekend. So uh, it actually looks like a Lego room now, which it didn't before. So I really need to find the time to set up the internet up there and get her computer up and running. But as I've mentioned a few times now, in order to get the internet working up there, I basically have to completely disassemble my office which is not a task I'm particularly looking forward to doing. So I might get in touch with Matt and see if there's any way that we can get usable Wi-Fi up there rather than, uh, rather than messing around with power line adapters that might not even work. Because I think that's more likely to be something I actually do rather than disassembling everything to get the power line adapters into my office where the router is. Which just seems like such an enormous job that I don't really want any part of. But Anna is ready. She's ready to go. 
so I need to get something sorted soon. Um, you go there. What? Oh, you're that. Okay. Okay. I see what we've got to do. Um, we need lots of you across there. As we are starting to make a little bit of a roof, I think. How many channels would you estimate I've had a go at on YouTube? Um, probably into double figures now. Just build a Lego house like James May at this point. I really want to make a medieval village rather than a Lego city. Go for it. I'd love to start collecting medieval sets. They look nice, but have no space. Yeah, that's the problem I'm going to have, I think. This uh, this might have been a bad idea buying this set because it's making me want more stuff in this style and I just do not have the space. Which seems bonkers when we're still less than a month after setting up the Lego rooms that we're already having to say no to stuff because we don't have the space. But that's what happens when you buy too much too quickly, I guess. Aren't we silly? And to be fair, I absolutely don't regret the Lego City because it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to get started working on that properly. So I guess I just can't have everything. What I need is for all of you to go and find a thousand friends, get them all to subscribe as well and start watching all the videos. And if we get to the point where we've got like half a million subscribers, then we can buy a really big house <laughs> and fit more Lego in. So it's good for everybody. And that's a penalty, I think, isn't it? I've asked, I'm just giving away a penalty. I haven't had a goal notification come through on my phone. So either this is VAR that's taken forever or they missed the penalty. So this is not ideal either way. We have got a garden, yeah. Should we get a, a big shed? We could get a lovely big shed and fill that with Lego. That seems like a sensible, reasonable thing to do, doesn't it? Oh my word. Uh, I'm not sure what we're building here. It's just a, a one of these is what's currently being produced. The amount of time it takes for penalties to be taken in modern football is insane, by the way. Because I still haven't had a notification come through one way or the other whether this is a goal or it would tell me whether it's a goal or a missed penalty. And I've not had the notification through either way. So this is absurd because I know my stream is behind my watch. It's behind FopMob. Now I've had the confirmation that they score the penalty so I can stop watching. This is the best way to watch football. I know what's going to happen before it happens so I know when I can just look away. <laughs> Um, it's fine for Harry Kane to have his little moment back in North London. It's the only moment he's getting. It's fine. That is a very purpley purple colour. I like that. That's very snazzy. Right, and then we need this and this. This is very colourful, this bit that we're doing here. Who scored? Um, that guy who never wins anything. He's always been able to score penalties, hasn't he? That's his deal. He can score penalties. That's how he's stat padded all these years. But he doesn't actually win things. It's the Harry Kane way. Right. Okay. Have I got this the right way up? Yes. I need my little my little doohickey. There we go. Oh, this is a mimic box. Ah, now I realise what we're doing. Okay, this is this is a mimic box. I only know that's a thing because there was a, we got another one as part of the gift of purchase. But we're making a little mimic box that's going to live somewhere, presumably in the roof of this building, as we're doing it now. I don't know what a mimic box is. But I know I have a big one. For the uh, gift with purchase. So little printed pieces again. 
And then we need the little fangs putting in. No idea. Uh, we're going to Legoland on Friday for the first time ever. Do you reckon they'll have any retired sets? Um, maybe really recently retired stuff. Because they don't play by the same rules as Lego because it's Merlin. Um, so there's always a chance. They'll have the Legoland exclusive sets, which are worth picking up. There you go, look. So we've got this little thing that looks like a bed, but it's actually a rascal monster. Which I think is the technical term for it. Go to sleep? No. <laughs> <laughs> what football team do I support? The mighty Peterborough United. England's most recent champions. Which is the official way of referring to us. No English team has won a trophy more recently than the mighty Peterborough United. So that is up there is a little bed upstairs. But then you go to sleep in the bed and rah, 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 rah. monster, I guess. I don't know the rules. Um, so that, yeah, that's going to go upstairs in there. So we've got spare swords and other bits and pieces, but it's now time for bag four. And bag four is going to be the fourth minifig. We're doing the four minifigs in the first four bags. Do not share this build with somebody else if you're going to argue over who does the minifigs. I would be very upset if Anna just built all four minifigs. Minifigs are fun. Right. Pull all these bits and bobs out. Bag four. Here we go. There's a crossbow in here. Oh. He's your favourite Marvel character. Who's my favourite Marvel character? I don't understand. Right. Minifig, minifig, minifig. So this is the last one of the four, I think. So there's four minifigs and then other little characters of other kinds. So this is the Orc Rogue. Rogue is a master of stealth who can attack from the shadows or sneak past without a sound. Their clever minds and quick fingers are adept at picking locks and disarming traps. If a rogue is watching, you won't know until it's too late. I think I'm a rogue. <laughs> I've decided I'm a rogue. Who's my favourite wrestler? I'm 41 years old. Um, oh, we need a cape for this one. So where did I put the capes? Capes were in here. Favourite film for the last five to ten years. I don't really watch films very much. Apart from, like, superhero ones. I'm not really a film-watching person. Right, which cape does he have? Because we've got one here that's all torn up and one that's not. I think he has the not torn one. These are our dragon wings, so we have to look after them. Because we're probably not going to be making the dragon for ages yet. Because I assume that's one of the last things that gets made. So, this goes on there. I hate putting capes on minifigs. It is the worst. And then it's another one who's got two heads. Which one do I want? They both look very similar. I want the one where he's smiling. I want all of my minifigs to be happy. There you go. So he's smiling and now he needs a little hood. Where's his little hood? There's his little hood. <laughs> oh, he's so happy to be here. What is this? A little, a little sack. Okay, bag four then. What's my favourite WrestleMania? Um, folks, 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 folks. There are few things more boring in life 
And then questions that start, what's your favourite or who's your favourite? So let's not descend to that in the chat. Because it's, uh, it's one of those things where a lot of you will already know the answers. And the ones that don't largely won't care about the answers. It's not really interesting or entertaining either way. Right, I'm going to give him one dagger and a crossbow. Because, you know, you've got to multitask. I'm not quite sure how he's going to use a dagger and a crossbow at the same time. But I figure, let him let him try and figure it out. Favourite game that isn't FM. Right, stop it with the favourites of Topher. Tell them. If people keep asking what is your favourite questions, we'll just time them out because I've asked you not to. Because honestly, it's boring. I'm not trying to be a monster, but I am trying to put on a stream that people are going to enjoy watching and people are going to enjoy watching the replay of. That's the whole point. And I just think constant what's your favourite questions are boring. It's not good content. So let's move on from them. Please and thank you, everybody. And if anyone's ignoring me now, they're going to get timed out. Not because it's particularly bad to ask. I'm not saying that. And on another day, we could maybe do one or two then. But we're just not going to do ten in a row. And I've asked nicely. What Disneyland Paris room are we saying in this year? Yeah, it's the one opposite Marvel. I think it's the Newport Bay. The one where we went and ate the fish, which I think is Newport Bay. We're staying there because it's um, it was way cheaper. It was going to cost us like an extra seven or eight hundred pounds to stay in the Marvel one again, which we've already stayed in. And bearing in mind when we went last year, all we did was sleep in there. We didn't get to eat in the restaurant there at all because it was always booked well in advance. And you can book the restaurants in any hotel, whether you're staying in them or not. So you don't have to sleep there to be able to eat in the restaurant there. You just have to book in a more organised manner. You can go in there and use the shop, even if you're not staying there. So it, it genuinely is an extra £800 for a picture of Black Panther on the bedroom, bedroom wall, which, don't get me wrong, was cool once, but I'd rather have the £800. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'd rather have the £800 going forward. So we'll still go into the Marvel Hotel and check out the shop and the, see if there's any new stuff in there. But... Um, yeah, we'll stay in the cheap hotel. It's just as close to to the parks as the Marvel one. So it's just the opposite side of the lake. So it's still only like a five minute walk to the parks. Um, but it's so much cheaper. So it seemed like a bit of a no brainer to us. That's a train. I checked that person out and they have a Kevin Chapman personalised playlist. Nice. <laughs> Why is that a shame? Have I just are you telling me I've just broken somebody's heart? Is that what's happening? So I don't mean to, but you know, we have to make sure the streams are fun for everybody watching and not just having one or two people dominate the chat with very similar questions. We have to draw the line. And I did it nicely, it's fine. Going to be staying at Sequoia Lodge. Oh, you banned them? Oh, come on, Topher. <laughs> what did they do to get banned? You are a monster. They were rude to me. Were they? Oh, I didn't see that. In that case, fair enough. Yeah, if they're rude, go for it. You already have. I don't know, you don't need permission anyway. You just do it anyway because you're a maniac. But no, that's fine. If they were rude, I didn't see them be rude. I was too busy waffling, I guess. Which is one of the advantages of being a waffle head like me. I can't find the piece that I want. I don't know. There it is. Didn't have to sing the whole song. <laughs> it wasn't the question. Something else happened. Oh, fair enough then. Fair enough then. Um, 
They called me boring. I mean, their questions were boring. <laughs> oh, my word. Am I hoping that Anna's knee is fixed? But I mean, Anna's knee isn't... Anna's knee is not a thing that's going to be fixed. She has arthritis in it. She has no cartilage left in it. Um, so it's a case of... At some point, she'll have to have a knee replacement and that'll be the fix. But they don't want to do the knee replacement because she's not even 40 yet. So it's very young to have a knee replacement. Bearing in mind they only last like 10 to 15 years. If she has a knee replacement now and lives to be 80, that's quite a few knee replacements she's being signed up for there. So, um, yeah, it's not something that's likely to be fixed. And even if it was... It's not just any, it's a problem. She's obviously got the the degeneration in her spine as well. It's just part and parcel of being born with spina bifida. It's a hand you're dealt thing, isn't it? There isn't ever going to be a time when she is like completely fit and dancing around the place and no problems. But... She's always known that. That's not like new information. And it's just about making the best of it from there. And the scooter's been a big help, for sure. Right, am I... Yeah, there we go. We've got a lovely little window. This is a nice window. I like medieval sets. I've decided... Um, I'm going in June, going to be staying at Davy Crockett's Ranch. I, um, with the first two times, th two times, I think, that we went, we stayed at the um, the Nature Village, which is next door to that. It is a nice way to do it. It kind of becomes two holidays in one, if that makes sense, because you have the Disney theme park thing, but you also have the being away from Disney and, like, having your car with you and it being more having a little bit of normality in there as well as so it does give you a little bit more balance when you're staying when you stay in the like on on-site disney properties it is a very full-on intense disney experience the whole time which if you're into that is great and we are into that so that's why we're going back and doing it this way again but i know for some people it is overwhelmingly <laughs> Disneyfied, and having that that little bit of separation from it stops them going insane. So yeah, it's uh, it's certainly a good way to do it. I imagine a day will come again where we stay out at one of those uh, offsite places again because they are nice. All right. Archways everywhere. All the archways. Lovely stuff. Um, she's got the deadly king knee, yeah, pretty much. Um, when do you think you'll do Disney in Orlando? Um, I don't know. Maybe never? I don't know. It's, it's really difficult to commit to because it's such a long flight which flying hurts both me and Anna. So we need to be at the point where we can, and this makes us seem like such wangs, but I don't think we could fly to America economy. And that's not to say we're going to throw a load of money on buying fancy tickets. It's more a case of we might just not do it. <laughs> The, the older we get and the, the more used to travel we get, the more we're getting an idea of what we like and what we don't like as part of travelling. And, um, yeah, one of the things we really don't enjoy massively is being on an aeroplane. And I don't think either of us would enjoy being on one for that long all cramped up. I mean, on the way back from Rome, I was in agony. My knee swelled up massively just because I had to keep it in the same position. If you've ever watched, like, if you ever just, like, really watch me when I'm streaming, I'm constantly shifting and moving 
um, certainly my legs, because I can't keep my knees bent for like any decent amount of time. They just start to hurt because of the knee problems I've had over the years with my uh, my torn ACL that never got repaired and my dislocated kneecap that didn't really get properly dealt with either. And um, yeah, my knees, if I try and keep them bent for an extended period of time, just start to swell up. So even just flying back from Rome, which was a two hour flight, I had to get up and pretend to go to the toilet three times because I couldn't just sit in my seat. So the person next to me was getting so frustrated with me because I'm constantly up and walking around because it's just unbearable to sit there in the seat. And uh, yeah, Anna is uncomfortable with it as well. And it's, I don't know. I mean, I say that now. We obviously are going to find a way to go at some point, I'm sure. But we're not rushing. There's a lot of stuff we want to do first, like the uh, the Norway cruise next year, much higher up the list than uh, than going to Orlando. So there's lots of stuff, lot, lots of things. There's lots we want to do. And we just got to work out what order to do them in. That's a lovely little roof, look. Isn't that snazzy? Fly transatlantic first class. I've never done it, but everyone who has says it's 100% worth it. Yeah, but it's also crazy expensive. And I, uh, I might not give the impression of how tight I am sometimes when you see how much I throw money around at the things I'm throwing money at. But at my core, I am... I spend money on the things that really interest me. Like I've got no problem with going and spending hundreds of pounds on Lego or cameras or things that really interest me. But I resent spending a lot of money on flights. That's why I always get the cheapest ones. <laughs> I don't like to spend money on things that I don't see the value in. And uh, yeah, I don't think we're in a position to go out and do like business class flying to America anytime soon. I think that's quite unlikely. Maybe one day we'll have enough we'll have enough miles saved up, enough American Express points that we'll be able to do it. But it's, we're not rushing. Because when we do do it, I mean again, if Anna's got a knee replacement on the cards in the next five years, for example, it probably makes sense for us to wait until she's had that done and recovered from that. Rather than going there and have her have to be in a scooter and not really be properly mobile. We may as well do it properly when she can walk. So there's no rush. The, it's the advantage of having our kids as young as we did. I'm only 41. She's only 38. We've got, we've got plenty of time to do these things. It's, it's fine. Is this supposed to be stuck somewhere yet? No, we're just putting that to one side. Um, do you think Universal UK will happen? There's been announcements about it today, hasn't there? Or the last couple of days. It seems to be gathering pace. I think the Bedford Council have pretty much confirmed that it's happening. I think there's been little bits of clearing of the site that are taking place. So I think it's seeming pretty likely at this point. Um... That doesn't seem right. I'll assume it is. Who am I to argue with with Lego? They probably know what they're doing. This piece doesn't feel right. Oh, we're doing a little bit more roof, I think. There's a little bit of it's like a chicken feather in there. How's a chicken feather got in here? Universal UK is happening, I believe. I've seen TikToks today of the site. Yeah, I've seen those TikToks as well. So I think it is happening, which is really exciting because that is just down the just down the uh, the M1 for us. It's not far at all from where we live, so that's going to be awesome having a theme park right on our doorstep, right on our doorstep, but far enough away that it shouldn't affect day to day life. <laughs> but when we want to go there, it will be less than an hour away or about an hour away. I don't actually know exactly. I don't think I've ever driven to Bedford since I've lived here. But from where I used to live in Peterborough, it was a less than an hour away. So I imagine it's roughly similar here. Oh, hang on, I've done this wrong. So that would be awesome. 
Um, the construction hasn't started, but they've asked the council and locals what they think about it and all the reactions to it are positive. Presumably from all the locals, apart from the ones who are going to be right outside it, who I guess are going to hate it, because as much as I enjoy a theme park, I wouldn't want them to build one down the end of my street. Having experienced the queues on the way to Alton Towers in the summer, for example... I want it to be near enough to be able to just nip to for the day without worry, but far enough away that none of the traffic or hassle affects me on a day-to-day -day basis. About an hour away from home is very much the sweet spot for the location of a theme park, as far as I'm concerned. So this one, they seem to be they seem to be doing that part of it right. They're planning it so it's ideal for me, and that's what I'm looking for. Basically, everything in life, I just want it to be ideal for me. And I'm not usually overly fussed about whether it's convenient for other people. I just want it to be good for me. And so far, this seems to be meeting that those criteria, which is good. Um, right, so that goes there, I think. This is a strange little window setup that we're doing here. I don't know if I'm doing it right. It feels weird. Um, I really like Anna's Anna's room setup has given me ideas for how to reset up my Lego room. Awesome. Yeah, I think if, I, if it wasn't for the fact that I've got a bee in my bonnet about doing a Lego city, I would be looking to set up the way Anna's is set up as well. But I just, I've got to do a city. How could I not do a city? I am, uh, I'm a, I'm a nerd. I wanted a train. I have to do a city. So I'm afraid I was left with no choice. I had to do a city. Right, so this, I think, goes... Oh, this is clever how this goes in. So we've got a little hole and a little Technic pin, and this is just going to slide in there. And that's how this section goes in. So now we've got... That's really cool. I like that a lot. That's really clever how that's gone in there. Lego's great, isn't it? They're so clever. They like it's like they know what they're doing. It's like they they give it thought. <laughs> it's fascinating how much they seem to uh, just give it a little bit of thought. I like it a lot. Right, and that goes in there, and then that goes there. And we've now attached it in two points. And then we need a couple more of them to attach it a little more. This is so clever, this bit. Because this is now really firmly attached. Where it was just one Lego pin, like one Technic pin, it's now properly held in there. It's genius. And now we're doing a little floor design. Um, do I ever miss living in Peterborough? No, not even for a second. <laughs> no, no. No, should I? I don't know. I lived there a long time. It's not a very nice place. I don't miss it at all. Certainly now my kids don't live there either. Um, and we don't need to get into the specifics of where they may or may not live. Disregard that. Um, but there's, there's nothing... F I mean, my dad's there, I guess. But my brother doesn't live there. My kids don't live there. So, yeah, it's uh, it's fine. Would sell the house to a theme park enthusiast for a ridiculous amount of money, but for a house worth three hundred thousand, some would pay double because it's right outside Universal. See, I feel like the opposite. I would think it would lower the value of houses. Surely, surely, they they can't. Be. I don't know. Maybe I don't understand how, how it works. I guess if someone's completely bonkers and wants to just be able to go to the theme park every day, then maybe it adds a premium. But it's not gonna. It's not like it's Disney in Orlando. It's going to be universal in Bedford. <laughs> it's going to be awful weather most of the time. People aren't actually going to want to go there like multiple times a month or a week, surely. I've done this the wrong way around. 
Maybe I'm underestimating people. I don't know. Because the other thing is, I don't know really how much universal stuff they can even have. Because what licenses do Universal have for theme parks? And do they automatically... And with a lot of them already being in other theme parks or other attractions, is there exclusivity and stuff that they're going to have to wait to time out? Because, like, you've got the Harry Potter studios thing just down the road in Watford so presumably they've got some kind of exclusivity on a Harry Potter tourist attraction in the UK so I don't think it's as simple as Universal just turning up in Bedford and building a Harry Potter area for example I don't think that's how it works so I am uh I'm intrigued to see how it all turns out. Mario and Harry Potter are the main two. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's not any Mario stuff in the UK at the moment, is there? I've not been to a Mario area. But, like, the Harry Potter thing, I wouldn't be at all... I mean, do they need... When they've got the one in Watford, just down the road, is there a need for another one there? Is it going to be that much of an attraction in its own right? I don't, again, I don't know the answer to that. Um, why can't I get this in? There you go, so we've got a little, a little another little chest that's got something in it that wants to eat you. So this goes on there, if we can get that attached to that little thing, which we can't, there you go. That's attached to that little platform, so another little chest. Um, look at Florida prices are high because of Disney and Universal adults. Yeah, but that's also Florida and there's much more there. This Universal Park isn't gonna be the size of Universal in Florida and it's not got Disney around the corner and it's UK weather, so it's much less attractive to live as a part of anywhere. I don't know. Right, we're doing another minifig. I thought there was only four, but this is going to be a fifth one. So maybe there's just a gazillion minifigs. We're on to bag five. Also, it's not as cool to have Harry Potter in the UK where it's based versus in Orlando. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think the, the one in Watford never struggles to attract people, has it? And if you've ever seen the queue for Platform 9 and 3 quarters at King's Cross, it's usually the biggest queue in one of the busiest stations in the country. It's for people to pose with a luggage trolley. So I think there's plenty of interest. But I don't know that that's enough to convince people to go and live in Bedford. Uh, I don't know. Right, we're doing another. I don't. I don't understand who this guy is. This is just random guy now. As before, we get the option to give him a beard, so we'll give him a beard. He wasn't on the list of four. I've got so many spare minifig heads as part of this set as well. And then he's got some fancy hair. And there we have it. We've got this guy as well. I don't really understand who he is, but we'll just put him down there. It's fine. That's my point. You can just go to King's Cross in London compared to going to a theme park. Yeah, exactly. Um, they have licenses for new Mario stuff. Most of the Universal's theme rides for Harry Potter. They probably do dual attraction ticket deals. Yeah, maybe. Um, Nickelodeon, Shrek, Minions, James Bond. See, so Shrek, you've already got Shrek's Adventure, which Merlin presumably have a license for because that's part of the Merlin Pass. So I imagine Merlin, as a rival theme park operator, who run Alton Towers and Thought Park and Legoland and pretty much every theme park in the UK is a Merlin attraction, including Shrek's Adventure in London. I would be very surprised if a company like that didn't have exclusivity on Shrek. So that's another example of a universal attraction that potentially 
can't go in a universal park in the UK because it's already been licensed out to somebody else. It's like with um, with Marvel and the uh, the Spider Man and X Men movies and all that kind of stuff. Because it got licensed out to someone else at some point, they weren't able to do it for ages, and it's presumably a similar situation. Is there a need to move there with its location on the M1? Exactly. Yeah, I don't I don't think anybody's gonna be moving to Bedford to be near Universal. If anything, I suspect people will be moving away from Bedford to get away from Universal. I think that's gonna be more common. Uh, I think being about an hour or so away straight down the M1 is much more convenient than living right there would be. Because I think for the number of times I would want to go. And I mean, if it's really, really great, I could see us going every few months even. But I don't mind travelling an hour every couple of months to go. I don't need to be closer to it than that. Closer to it than that. Any closer to it than that seems bananas. (laughs) There's no Marvel stuff at Disney Orlando due to the agreement they made years ago, but they're allowed in California and Paris. Yeah, that's what I mean. So it'll be interesting, like I say, it'll be interesting to see what stuff they haven't already licensed out to other companies to see what's actually left for a Universal Park in this country. But, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I like theme parks, so I, uh, yeah. My official party line is looking forward to it. Nickelodeon Land is up in Blackpool. Yeah, there you go. Do I have any of the Mario or Animal Crossing sets? I've got all of the Animal Crossing ones. Um, and I've got the adult Mario ones. I don't have like the little play sets. But I've got the Piranha Plant. I've got the NES. I've got the Mighty Bowser. Anna claimed the uh, the question mark cube thing. Which is very upsetting because I wanted the full set of all the adult Mario stuff. But when I got my uh, Daily Bugle, we went to Smith's in Milton Keynes, I think. Had it in stock. Um, so we went down there to get the Daily Bugle. And as we were in there, this was this was early on in this Lego adventure for us. And Anna knows how to play the game. And as I'm in there getting my Daily Bugle that we've made a special trip there to get. She just said, can I get a set too? And obviously, I'm not a monster. I'm going to say yes. So I was like, yeah, of course you can. Go for it. And she got the the question mark cube. And I was like, oh, no, not that one, no. That one was on my list. I want that one. But, uh, yeah, she knows what she's doing. Because she, I mean, we're both gamers. She wanted all the Mario stuff as well. So she uh, she knew what she was doing. She, uh, like I say, she knows how the game is played. Do I remember Toys R Us at Brent Cross? I think the only Toys R Us I ever went to was the one in Peterborough. I don't ever remember going to another Toys R Us anywhere. That might not be true, but that is what I'm thinking off the top of my head. Um, Are these supposed to have... No, I think that is how they're supposed to be. Ignore me. We've got various little chimney things going on. Currently building the Sanctum Sanctorum whilst watching. Love it. Uh, yeah, the Sanctum Sanctorum's great. That's the only building currently in the city because it's the only one that I built before deciding I was getting a city. So it, um, it, was, it was built and sat in my office for a while. Um, but yeah, the Sanctum Sanctorum is great and was kind of that i enjoyed that build so much that's kind of what cemented wanting to do a lego city because i enjoyed that so much and just wanted to go and get more modular buildings so yeah when uh in years to come when my kids have no inheritance and me and anna have no money because we spent it all on lego we can all remember that the sanctum sanctorum is to blame Which, as a fan of Marvel films, seems like a bonkers sentence because they're not great movies, are they? But it's a great Lego set. But I'm not a massive Doctor Strange fan, as a rule. But 
the Sanctum Sanctorum is a great Lego set. This one was near Wembley when I was younger, driving up there like a massive air hanger. So much Lego sections. Don't know. Didn't know what you got to. It's gone. Yeah, exactly. They can afford new licenses because it's universal. It's not about affording them. It's about whether they're available. If, for example, let's use Shrek as the example with with Merlin. Merlin have all the other theme parks in the country, the major ones. If they have a locked in license on Shrek, it is not in their interests to, no matter how much Universal want to pay, to release them from that license because that really strengthens their new biggest competitor in UK theme parks. So it makes sense for them to just sit on that license until it expires. You can't just magically buy your way out of it. The The company that owns the license has to agree to sell it. That's why Marvel and Disney haven't been able to just buy back the licenses for all of the, uh, all of the stuff they sold. They had to go and buy the companies. So yeah, it's not quite that simple. Um, yeah, that goes there. So I'm not saying it wouldn't happen, but I am saying it would be a very strange business decision from Merlin to be like, yeah, go for it. I, If I was Mr. Merlin, I would be pushing for you don't need the licenses let's partner up let's have a stake in your theme park see how much you want it then we'll have we'll have 30 percent of the park and then you can have all these licenses back fill your boots Um, do you think Alton Towers will improve their theming if Universal opens? You, Alton Towers has got the difficulty of um, being restricted by not being able to build upwards, don't they? The local residents are wangs near Alton Towers. And this is what I mean about the Bedford people. Alton Towers is a perfect example of how British people are very different from American people. And British people see a theme park on your doorstep as a huge inconvenience, not remotely a positive. <laughs> and um, this doesn't seem right. And yeah, they can't build upwards at Alton Towers. So they uh, there's only so much they can do to improve things there. They basically, every time they put in a new roller coaster, have to dig a big hole to put it in. How do my kids feel about the new Lego obsession? I'm not even sure they're even aware of it. They uh, they don't come to the house ever. They live far away. So unless they are paying close attention on social media, which seems unlikely, it's not come up in conversation, I don't think. So, uh, I mean, as with all of my shenanigans... If they are aware, I imagine their opinion on it is strong indifference because <laughs> they're used to my nonsense over the years. So, uh, yeah, the answer is it's not come up. Right. Hi Kev, I live in Bedford, about 10 minutes drive from my Universal. I bought the land. House prices are already crazy here. But the discussion is, are they likely to go up or down based on the arrival of a theme park? I would suggest down. Whereas others are suggesting up. I guess we'll see. I mean, house prices are crazy everywhere, don't forget as well. That's not a, that's not a uniquely Bedford thing.
certainly the further south, as a rule, the further south you get, the more ridiculous house prices get. So, uh, yeah, there's always that element to it. Um, if you worry about what people think about what you're doing, you'd never do anything. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's great having my brain, because I don't even give a moment's thought to what other people think about what I'm doing. I just crack on and do my own thing. Um, the days of me caring what other people think about anything I do or say, um, they ended many, many years ago. And I am basically all about just doing what I feel like and having, having a good time. That's that's my uh, that's my way of doing things, and it seems to be rather good fun. I have a lovely time, so it works for me. Don't worry about other people, boys and girls. They're never going to agree with you all the time, anyway. That's Kev's motivational uh, comment for the day. Motivational. Uh, the further north you get, the north. The more northern shirts you probably see. Yeah, definitely. Northern shirts are everywhere in the north. That's why they're called northern shirts. People who are not fully up with Mature Gamer Canon have no idea what we're talking about now. What's a northern shirt? As a dirty estate agent, I'd suggest they certainly wouldn't see an increase because of the theme park. Yeah, exactly. I'm speaking as someone who used to work in an estate agency as well. There's a reason the Alton Towers locals kick off all the time because it affects their property prices having noisy theme parks that you can see and hear from the back garden. Nobody wants that. People might like the idea of being near enough to go there, but no one wants to be so near that they can hear it when they're not there. That's the key. If it's, if it's in noise producing range it's a negative when am i building the avengers tower um when i've got the city ready to plonk it in the big piece of wood i mean you can see it here the big piece of wood is here i just need to find the time to get the big piece of wood set up um which is easier said than done at the moment because i'm so busy um, and then once the piece of wood is in, I'm still I'm also waiting for a parts order from Lego so I can build some mills plates. Because, again, there's no point getting it in until I can get my mills plates in as well. But once I've got the um, once I've got the. The raised platform on and the mills plates all set up, it will be full steam ahead on uh, on getting all the modulars in. Of which the Avengers Tower will definitely be one. Um, are they actually attached there? No. Am I doing that right? I was doing that the wrong way around, I think. Oh, fiddly. Really fiddly. Uh, I need smaller fingers. Where do you get small fingers from? This is starting to look so cool, by the way. Look at that. This is a really nice build. Um, have I been to Forbidden Planet? I've been to many Forbidden Planets many times. Love Forbidden Planet. Um, it will increase the house prices, more jobs in the area, more people will look to stay in the Bedford area and go to Universal with the option to travel down to London rather than stay in London. I just strongly disagree. <laughs> I mean, a little bit further away, yeah. But I'm talking next street over. Can hear it from your garden. Those prices are going down. I'm certain of it. The only way they don't go down is if they all get bought up by uh, Airbnb investors, which I guess is a possibility. But uh, I, I mean, we'll see. We'll see, I guess. Um, ah, this is a bit wibbly wobbly. 
Have I gone for Lego base plates or third party plates? Third party. Is third party plates cheating? No, third party plates is making the project affordable. I need 60 base plates for my city. If I got official Lego ones at £8 a pop for 60 plates, I don't even want to do the maths on how much money that would cost me, but I certainly wouldn't have been able to buy as many Lego sets as I have if I'd have spent however many hundreds of pounds on base plates. So yeah, I've gone third party because they're all going to be Mills plates anyway. So no one is ever going to see them. It's not like they're ever going to be visible in any way because they're all going to be Mills plates. And the stuff on top of them to Mills plate them up is all legitimate Lego. It's just that very bottom bit is third party. And I think that's fair. I think if I, I would argue, in fact, that's the only sensible way to do it. Unless you've got a ridiculous, like, bottomless money pit and can just hurl thousands upon thousands upon thousands of pounds at it. I think it's the only option for most people. Unless you just build it all up very, very slowly over many, many years. But trying to do a whole city from scratch in one go, the way I am, there's no way to do that with... Um, with Lego plates. I'm certain of that. Oh, this is looking very snazzy. Look at it. So that's the top. And then this goes on to the bottom. Let's get that on there. And this it Oh, crumbs. The roof presses in a little bit. That is the first build done, I think. Right, we've got one of these long things. All done. I've missed a long thing off somewhere. Where are you supposed to go, Mr. Long Thing? Oh, on the top there. He goes there. And that is the inn done. Book one complete. Look at that. That is such a cool little build with a cool interior as well. Lots of little hidden bits, but that is so detailed and awesome looking. And they do all connect together to become one big build, I think. So that's just one element of it. But my goodness me, does that look cool. I really like that. That's so awesome. Right, we're going to put that to one side and we are going to do at least one more bag. So put that back there where it can be seen. Book one is done. On to book two, boys and girls. Here we go. Um, last thing on this, the site they bought is circa the same size as the car park in Florida's Universal, so not sure what exactly they can build theme park-wise. Well, there we go. It's going to be a much smaller UK version. UK theme parks are generally quite small. Looks like something from Dungeons & Dragons, doesn't it, just? Oh, we're doing the castle now. So the next bit of the build is the castle. We like a castle, so we need a couple of oh mini figs. We need a couple of big plates. So these big plates plus bag six is what's needed. Bag six, where are you? Here he is. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The people who live next to Alton Towers are so annoying. The most iconic park in the UK. And they're limited because of 100 people who live near it compared to the millions who visit it. I mean, yeah, but they were there first. And they didn't ask for a theme park to be built at the end of their garden. So I do kind of get it. I guess the alternative, if Alton Towers slash Merlin are actually serious about wanting to make it huge and enormous and awesome, they could just offer them all the kind of money they can't refuse. Oh, I've just tweaked my back. They could offer them the kind of money they can't refuse to just buy all their houses and get rid of the problem. So, I mean, it is solvable, but they'd have to throw a lot of money at the problem. Money that probably isn't feasible to throw at it. So, I kind of get the the point of the residence i think if i lived there in a theme park we just appeared and was constantly noisy i mean imagine for me in particular for my job where i need quiet i need to be able to record 
if I if they built a, a theme park like that at the end of my garden where you could hear it all the time, I'd have no choice but to just move house. And I'd be pretty miffed about that if I'd lived there a long time, if it was like the family home. So I would kick up a fuss and stop it from getting to that point. So I do see their point. Yeah, and plus, as part of the process, their house prices have dropped as well. Yeah, exactly. So even if they did decide to sell up and move on, they now can't get as much money as they would have got before it was there. Because remember, Alton Towers in its current form hasn't been there for generations. They started putting the roller coasters and the really noisy stuff in there in the 80s. It's not like it's, oh, well, they would have known when they bought the house. Well, they didn't. <laughs> it was a, a nice stately home with some nice gardens that had a little bit of a fun fair around the back. So, yeah, I, uh, I do kind of get their point. I think that shows that I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm supposed to be young and annoyed. But I'm actually old and reasonable about it. And that's uh, that's embarrassing, to be fair. Who wants to be old and reasonable? Noise-proof the rooms. That is easier said than done. Because, again, speaking from my experience, it gets hot. You have to open a window sometimes. You can't use air conditioning because it's loud. So you have to open the window and then that's loud. And it, it I mean, it is problematic. Like I always, if you watch my videos closely, if you ever see a football manager video where I seem particularly sweaty and flustered that means that's been filmed on a wednesday which is bin day when i have to have the windows shut because it's too noisy to have the windows open <laughs> so you know and that's that's a that's a much smaller problem than having a theme park there for six months of the year that's forever like constant screaming just imagine Every time you go in your garden, every time you go out to get into your car, every time you open a window because it's warm outside and you just hear screaming. <laughs> it would be like living in a nightmare. Oh, my word. <laughs> All right. These bits on there. You go there. And then you go there. Lovely old stuff. Oh, Mr. Piece. Silly old Kev. What a silly goose. There we go. So our little base for the castle bit is starting to take shape. Bin men, another classic Kev clip. I know. Um, you'd move, you'd move out, it'd be like a war zone. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But then, of course, who wants to buy your expensive country house now? There's a theme park with all of its noise and all of its traffic. So again, it then becomes hard to move. So, I, I get their point. I do understand why the people of Alton don't want it to get bigger and louder than it already is. I think that's a reasonable thing for them to request. But it is a little bit of a shame from, from the theme park's perspective that it does limit their potential for growth and expansion. But on the flip side of that, you could argue, maybe they should have thought that before they put a theme park in the middle of a nice little village. They could have put it completely in the middle of nowhere with nobody nearby. They chose to put it there, the silly gooses. They were probably they were probably warned of the consequences at the time. Well, you can put it here, but if it gets too noisy, we'll kick up a fuss. What do you know? They kicked up a fuss. 
Who knew? 2-2 two, two in the City game. When it opens, you and Anna are more than welcome to stay at mine in Bedford. Like I said, it's a 10 minute drive. I mean, we're an hour away. Probably less. I think we're good. Thank you, but... Uh, we kind of make a point of not staying around people's houses who we've not met. Because <laughs> that's bonkers. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's nice of you to offer. Thank you. This is quite a big area we're forming here. Right. Next bit. As this just continues to get bigger and bigger. And then has to sit on this table for days until the next stream. Friday is the next time we're streaming this build. I absolutely shouldn't have started the next section, but I just couldn't help myself. I think you'll agree I had no choice but to get started on this next section. This bit of base plate is going to be massive. Um, right. You go there. And then you go there. And you there. And then this goes somewhere. At the bottom here? Yeah. This seems the wrong colour. Have I used the wrong colour base plate on the other one? Because this is supposed to be the same colour as that. I guess in the grand scheme of things it's not really going to matter. I'm certainly not going to take this apart. Yeah, these two are the wrong way around. Start again. This this plate here. Uh, huh. I mean, it looks like we're tiling over it all with green anyway. So I don't think it's going to matter. But I have done those. These two bigger plates the wrong way around. But I'm certainly not disassembling it all at this point. It's fine, but you can see a little bit of a colour difference there at the moment. But like I say, it does look like it's going to be basically tiled over green and then have a building put on top of it. <laughs> so it's fine. There's a house as soon as you leave the tower's gate. I don't think you get any closer. Oh, well, I'm building the Veneta class cruiser in my bedroom. That feels like a Star Wars thing. Is that a Star Wars thing? As a, as a not a Star Wars guy. I'm never fully sure, but that, that sounds Star Warsy to me. If ever I heard of a Star Warsy thing, that that was it. But now you'll always know it's the wrong way. Yeah, but I also won't really care because I'm not going to be able to see it. It gets back to what we were saying before about the... Um, the non-official base plates on the on in the city it doesn't really matter because no one's ever going to see them stuff like that only matters if you're going to see it and i'm never going to see that so it's fine and i guess if i ever find myself at a loose end and i'm really 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 bored i just feel like completely disassembling an entire set for no good reason then I could always swap them. I can say with quite a lot of confidence that is unlikely to ever happen. <laughs> have I seen Dune? I have not seen Dune, no. I uh, I can't emphasise enough, boys and girls. I don't really watch films. This is... When people... Someone said earlier, am I not stretching myself too thin with the three channels, all the content? No, because the reason I'm not is because I... My favourite way to spend my free time is making YouTube videos and streaming. I'd much rather do that than pretty much anything else. So that's why I don't really watch... Oh, Arsenal have scored. This is why I don't really watch a lot of films and stuff like that. Because I'd, I'd just much rather be doing this. Right, because my watch is ahead of the iPad. We're just going to watch the Arsenal goal go in. Which presumably is about to happen. And there we have it. Trossard. 2-2. Two, two. Splendid stuff. That is what I'm talking about, boys and girls. 
Right, so this is now going on here. So it continues to build up more and more. And now we need some of these lighter coloured greens and the little love heart shapes to go there. Ah, and over there, apparently. June in 70 millimetre is unmissable. I promise you, it's missable. <laughs> did my watch tell me a football happened? It did, yes. Yeah, I, uh, I'm just, I'm just not that into films. I don't have a huge attention span. Like, I know people think it's weird that I'm streaming me making a Lego set whilst Arsenal are playing a massive Champions League game and that I should just be sitting and watching the Arsenal match. But if I were doing that, I would still be making Lego or playing Football Manager or doing something. There is no way I would just be sat here watching the football. I just can't do it. So if I'm going to be making Lego anyway, I may as well do it and hang out with you lot. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I am having fun. I'm having a lovely time. This is a great evening for me. I'm making Lego. I'm watching the football. We're having a lovely old chat. I'm getting to do my ranting. And because it's, uh, because it's a stream, no one can argue with me. <laughs> and if they do argue with me, Topher deals with them and makes them go away. It's great. It's like the perfect setup. This is an evening right here. Right. You go in there. And then you there. And you there. And then we need something in here as well. So... I think that's that bit there. All the colours are the same. I cannot tell the difference between some of these colours. We're hitting that point again that I sometimes get to. Ah, oh, where did you go? Are all of them the same colour? People with colour vision. Are they all the same colour? Because in this book, it appears like there should be a green one of these. There's every chance I've used it somewhere else. And it probably doesn't really matter because of the colour blindness. But to me, every single one of them is the same colour. So <laughs> they're just going to be used fairly randomly, I think. Yeah, they're the they are the same. They're definitely the same. I won't I won't have anyone suggest otherwise. But there is supposed to be a green one. But I absolutely cannot see a green one. So I think it's just a printing issue in the book. Or a colour blind issue with me. Either way, it's not a problem. It's fine. Top right is green. I don't know which one the top right was now. They all look exactly the same to me, so it's fine. We won't worry about it. <laughs> it might drive some of you like crazy, knowing it's always going to be just that little bit wrong. But if anything, that amuses me, so that makes it okay. <laughs> um... Oh, hello. What have I done here? It looks like there's a piece missing. I think I've missed a step again. It's the book that's wrong. Exactly. It's always the book that's wrong. Oh, I see why I'm seeing the colour wrong. Because it's the place where I've got the wrong coloured base. That's why that bit that I'm seeing there is the wrong colour. Because it should be the other colour base plate. Okay, that's fine then. So that bit's good. And then this bit goes here. And now we're just 
building things again. So that goes, see there's another, it's supposed to be another one of those green bits here in a minute. I don't believe they exist. I mean, green, maybe, no one knows. Could be green, maybe isn't. Oh, I tell you what, that one does look green against them. Are you green? Is this green? Which ones of you are green? I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. I need eyes that work. Where do you get working eyes from? Because I really need some. This is absurd. This is two sets in a row that are just being torn apart by my eyes not working like human eyes. City of Conceded again? Is that what we ha what's happening here? My build will be unique. Exactly. How many of these mistakes do I have to make before I can call this a mock? <laughs> I'll put it on rebrickable. My colourblind version. You all think it looks really unique. To me, it just looks exactly like it did in the book. Um, so that goes there. There you go there. I'm doing this in such a backwards, ridiculous way as well. Because I am not taking the pieces out to know that... I don't, I don't know that I've used all the pieces for this step. There's every chance I haven't. <laughs> I think we're okay. But we might not be. And there's just no way of knowing without being more organised. Um, where are we? I don't think we've seen any goals from the Man City game for a while in the Arsenal one, unless I've just not been paying attention, which, I mean, I haven't been paying attention, so it probably is that. Right, we're doing more green. So we need a long piece and some fat pieces. So you there, are going there, and then... Okay. This is a... Big area that we're making here. This is going to be quite a sizable castle going on top of this. And we are covering up most of that wrong coloured plate. So it's uh, it's coming together slowly. Oh, there you go. We've just seen another goal in the Man City game. I think we've just seen a 3-3. So I've clearly not been looking up often enough and I've been missing goals that are going in. So I think the last time I saw it was 2-1. I've been seeing you lot mention the goals in the chat, but I've not actually seen any of them. I'm going to have to watch the highlights after this. Um, I'm autistic and I get a white piece of paper. It helps with colour blindness. Interesting. I might have to, uh, might have to invest in a piece of white paper. Right, what now? We've got a circle chap that goes there. And then we need one of these. So go there. And one of these. We're hiding a diamond in a second. Again, spoilers for anyone who's looking to play this campaign. But there is going to be a diamond hidden under here. There it goes. One hidden diamond. I think that was that step done. It was. And then we've got... Are you both green? I mean, genuinely at this point, I just don't know. They're supposed to be green. I don't think they are. But we're just going with it now. I'm sure it'll still look great, even if the colours are a little bit weird. Certainly, these greens do not look like the greens in the book. That's for sure. That's one thing we can all agree on, I think. And there we go. So the little base that the castle is going on is starting to take shape, which is good. Um, definitely watch the highlights. Worldies all round. Nice. I went to Insomnia as an authenticator. I went to Insomnia as an authenticate, 
and an authenticator who was colorblind had a jeweler's eye. I have no idea what you're saying there. No idea what most of that means. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine if I sat and read that all, I could figure it out. But I think there's too many words in there that I'm not sure what the relevance of them is. Right, we're going to do at least one more bag. We're going to do bag seven. Because I want to get this face plate hidden. So I forget that I got it wrong by the time we do the next stream. That's the plan. More of these, maybe green, maybe not bricks. go right oh we need this bit this bit is part of this stage so we're doing some rocky rockies can you buy these pieces i mean you must be able to i think buying a bunch of these would be quite good for in the city for covering up large areas in one go might have to look into how much they are i imagine it's a unique piece for this set and costs a fortune but I think it is quite, we're hiding bones now. So bones getting hidden underneath the castle. And another bone is going to be hidden. So that's going to be hidden there. And then we've got lots of little circles. Where are these circles? Here they are. Circles. Are they all the same colour? I'm going to assume they are. How many of these are we supposed to have? Five. There's five. Three. Four. Is there another one? There must be another. Where's the fifth one? There it is. There it is. Found it. I think. I can't get my fingers on it. Right. So we're putting like a spotty pattern on the bottom of here. I don't really know why, but it is not my place to argue. All right. And then like there. And there. And this one goes all the way over here. I don't know what the little circles are for. Wembley a 1-0 up versus Hilltop. Lovely. Do I have a link for the tray I'm using? I, I don't. It was 75p in Ikea in the kitchen section, which I realise isn't overly helpful. I doubt it's even on the website. But if you want one, go and rummage around the kitchen section in Ikea, and that's where we got it from. It's It's... Basically just thick cardboard as well. It's not like a plastic tray. It's just, uh, you won't want to get it wet, that's for sure. Next time we're in Ikea, we'll have to buy a few spares in case they ever get a drink spilt on them or something because they'll be ruined if that ever happened. And then we'll be upset. Because both me and Anna have one and they are great. So I might have to do a video on them and show people where to find them. An excuse to go to Ikea. This is the tray that I use. Uh, so you are going there. And then we need another one of these little dot deals, which goes, I don't know how important the actual exact positioning of these things is. I'm making sure I get them exactly as they are in the picture. If I find out this is just a random pattern we're putting on the floor, I'm going to be very cross. Because I'm putting so much care into getting it exactly the same as the picture. So I hope it is supposed to be exactly the same as the picture. So you go there. And then... We need another little dot. Where's the little dot? Come on, little dot. So we have you that kind of goes like that at a bit of an angle. We should probably get you at the right angle. And then you directly below that. 
and then we need another one of you that goes in there. Well, I've balls this up somehow, and I don't really know how. No, I haven't. Right, is that that entire pattern done now, do we think? No, there's still bits missing. I haven't done all of the grabby jobbies. Because we've got to have another one on there. And then that is it, I think. So we've got those. I'll show you in a second what I've just been doing. Because it's confusing. Just loads of stuff all over the floor in certain positions. It's a cutlery storage board. They have an acrylic version too. Well, there you go. What was the set that made me start collecting? I want to start this collecting adventure. Um, I mean, I've always been in. Oh, I was into Lego massively as a kid. Had always stopped myself as an adult and. And I bought a Lego set and I was like, well, I want one too then. That was the Mario Piranha plant. And then we realised there was no reason for us not to anymore because the reason we've been stopping ourselves is because we were young and skint and now we're old and not. So we just decided to allow ourselves to do some Lego, do a Lego as it were. And we've not looked back. Right. So that goes sort of in there. Just bits of random weaponry going on the floor in here now. Which I guess, as part of doing, like, the playing the game, this is probably stuff that you find when you're doing the quest. You go and find the weapons and then presumably get to use them, I guess. I don't really know the rules. But I assume that's the logic behind there being loads of hidden weapons all over the place. Where's the big, the big shiny bit for the top of that? There it is. So this is like a big, a big magical thing. A big magical thing. So that goes in there. And then we've got a bow and arrow that clips into that down here. And then a shield, which clips in there. So it really is loads of... If you're playing this campaign, boys and girls, head down under the castle. <laughs> That's where all the goodies are. You want to get under that castle pronto. All the good stuff's down here. Where are we going? I think that's everything that was supposed to go in there. I used to get the Lego and Meccano, but yeah, I used to like Meccano as a kid as well. Right, we're now doing something with this. So I think we're texturing it up even more and adding a little bit of different colour onto it. This is the kind of detailing that I wouldn't be able to do with my, the way my brain is. My brain isn't creative in this way to be able to make this one coloured lump of boring into something that's going to end up looking like a, a properly designed part of the of the setup. This is why I need to follow the instructions. Because they're going to make this look good and it's going to be very confusing to me how they've managed to do it. Because I would have absolutely just added it to the city the way it is and been like, yeah, that's really cool. That's better than anything I could have built. But now they're taking it and taking it up like five more levels from there. And it's bonkers. Shouldn't be possible. But so many colours and different shapes and things going in here. Clever. Said it before and I'll say it again. These Lego folk, they're clever, aren't they? Right, I just got a vibration. Was that another goal or was that the end of the match? That was the end of the match. 2-2. Two, two. I mean, it's not the worst result in the world. Obviously, you need to win your home games, really, so it doesn't necessarily bode well, but it's certainly not the end. For as long as Harry Kane is in the Bayern Munich team, 
they've always got a bottle job in them so there's always hope for as long as he's around I guess look at how much better that looks just with a little bit of colour and stuff on it very clever these Lego people right and then this is getting plonked oh god that fell out this is getting plonked on here so let's get the angle right and the positioning right so I think it kind of goes there which immediately starts to build this up and then under there is where we've got that hidden magical staff and the bow and arrow and that hidden diamond I talked about before so it's all hidden under that little built up area which is very clever oh this is a good set this, I like this a lot already as someone who knows nothing about d and I am enjoying myself and that's a good sign it's a bad sign for my wallet because it means as they release more D and D sets, I'm going to want them. But that's a problem for future Kev, and an argument for him to have with future Anna when she's like, "Well, you've got nowhere to put them. I don't care. I want them anyway. They're so good." Right. So, what angle are we at here? So there's that, and then. We've got that, so this is going here, like that, and then that goes next to it. I think that's right for that section, that looks right. Some sets, like this cruise I'm building, has four manuals, very hard to solo build. I mean, this set has four manuals. just a it's just a big set i don't mind a big set certainly for a stream i think it's fun to have a nice big set and then on this one this will be our last bag for tonight i think because we don't want to do it all in one go you know we need to make this last a couple of weeks get our money's worth on it Certainly for a set like this, where I imagine I'm going to enjoy the build far more than actually owning the set. Because, as I keep saying, don't really have anywhere to put it. So it might be that it doesn't even last in its assembled form very long. We'll see, I guess. Well, it really didn't last very long in its assembled form, did it? <laughs> Oh dear. I shouldn't be allowed nice things. I'm too heavy handed. Right, let's get that back in again. And then try again. And this time don't press too hard. Your wally. You've not got anything in there holding it together just yet. Um, am I going to add lights and sounds to my Lego City? Uh, yes. Eventually. Not necessarily everywhere, because again, it's expensive. And the priority initially is getting the city built. And then once the city is built, then we'll worry about stuff like that. So the city is very much a long-term project. It's not something that's gonna get built in the next month and then just stay there built forever. It's something I'm gonna be building and fiddling with and working on for the next five years you know it's not it's not a it's not intended to be a thing that we do as a quick little project now it's very much a long-term a long-term project a hobby that i'm going to be fiddling with forever so there'll always be things to improve but job one is very much get the um get the get the buildings in you know get the bulk of that done and then we can worry about lighting stuff up and stuff like that does my city have a train yet? at the moment all the city has is a train if you want to see the city as it is at the moment there is a video that i put out the other day um on the channel that will show you the city in its current form it is basically just a table with a train on at the moment i did get a 
big plank of wood delivered today to start a raised platform with. Um, but I haven't done anything with it yet because it arrived today. So I haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. But it's, uh, it's definitely a job that's on the to-do list. Maybe not for this week. We'll see how we're doing for time later in the week. But it's definitely a job that needs to be done. Kev's planning to spend his retirement on Lego. Kev's planning to never retire. So all the things that normal people say, save for their retirement, I do now. That's why we're doing the travel now. I read The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss years ago, before I even went self-employed, and it completely changed my outlook on retirement in general. I'm very much of the school of thought of just taking lots of mini retirements throughout my life now, which is why we take regular trips and breaks and live now while we're young enough and healthy enough to enjoy it, rather than waiting until we're old and skint and can't enjoy it, is the general thought process. Right, is that right? I guess it is. We're doing lots of very rocky building things. It's very cool. It's taking shape nicely. But there's lots of browns and greens that I'm sure I'm mixing up constantly. Right, I think... Think. I think we've got what needed to be in there. There's every chance we haven't. No, I think that section's done. Maybe. It'll be fine. Who do I think will win the Prem? Arsenal. Arsenal winning the Prem because they're rock solid at the back. Yeah. That seems seems reasonable. And we need a couple of these little chappies in here. That goes over there. And then, have we got a green one of them? We have got a green one of them. It's all coming together. Everything is working as intended, everybody. These are positive developments. But this is what I'm currently working on, building up this back area bit in here of what I guess is gonna be the underside bit of the castle. Which is all very splendid. Be careful with the wood. A lot's been going around. The UK builders merchant scene retreat the chemicals that are not EU approved been tearing hands of builders. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's it's basically a a desktop rub. It's not just it's not a bare plank of wood. It's coated and edged up and everything. I'm not actually gonna to be touching anything remotely wooden, I don't think, as part of the process. And all I've got to do is uh Add a couple of legs onto it. It's going to be fine. Right, so that's going there. And then... There we go. Continuing to build out our little castle area. And now we're doing lots of blue and see-through things all of a sudden. A complete change of pace. feels like a different step completely different elements and then you go there okay and oh goodness me what are we building here a contraption of some kind so we need another little diamond always with the diamonds in this set goodness me I love diamonds in the uh in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. This is half diamond, half frying pan. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. And then it goes into a thing. What on earth is happening? Um, so that goes there. 
I've no idea what this is, but I'm sure it makes all the sense in the world to people who are really into D and D. Oh, Kev's making a a thing. Uh, what's uh, what's his name? A, a doohickey. All of which I think are legitimate D and D names for things. No idea what's going on. Oh, hello. Now we're putting a skeleton's head in. It gets weirder. What on earth is going on here? <laughs> and now we seal him in. Weird little Mr. Skeleton Man. With his weird contraption and then a little column again we are literally blocking him in he can't get out poor little skeleton guy he's not even getting air holes i'm already feeling a little upset for him because now we've got the lid on and he is properly, he's just sealed in a little box from all angles. And then we're doing something with a one of them. I have no idea what's going on at all. But I think this is the last thing for this step. Right, so this is just something that's going to live underneath the castle again. So, okay. That goes there. So these are just more things that are going in under the castle. So that's there. So yeah, it's just a load of weird stuff that now lives beneath the castle again. And that, boys and girls, brings us to an end for tonight. So if you weren't in earlier because of the football, you would have missed us do the first part of the build, which is, what's it called? The, the In Plain Sight Inn, which is a very cool little inn. These do all link together to make one big set but they also break apart for playing through the campaign and now we're starting like the castle area you can see we've got the bottom of the castle in the under the castle secrets and then i guess we continue building the castle up from there and as you can see that but that problem that we had with the uh with the base plate is already pretty much hidden you can barely tell that we've got the wrong base plates in so we don't need to worry about that we will carry this on in the next stream the next Lego stream will be Friday, same sort of time, about 7 p.m. Friday. There should be at least one video out on the channel between now and then as well. Um, it will either be sorting the big pile of Lego that needs sorting or sorting out the big plank of wood. And it largely depends on how my back is feeling, um, if I can do either of them, both of them. But there'll definitely be a stream on Friday. And then early next week, there'll be the Coventry National Brick event thing. That'll be coming out on the channel as well. So make sure you subscribe for all that stuff. Leave a thumbs up on the video, whether you're watching live or on the replay. It's a massive help to getting the channel out there to new faces. Um, but for now, boys and girls, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon. Toodle pip. Bye-bye.